we go. That's more centered. Hello there. Happy Friday. It's Friday, right? Yes, it's Friday. How's it going? I hope y'all are having a good day. Camera. OBS is having a bad time. I keep getting encoding overload errors and I don't know what to do about it. So that's great. And I don't have any tissues. Also great. Oh, I have one in my pocket. I don't like what's happening here. This is... I don't know how to make... Maybe if I turn the music off. Close that. Don't know if it'll help at all. Oh, it's not. What the fuck? I have like everything closed that could be closed. Close more random background things. Don't need a search bar. Why are you using only using 58% memory, 41% of my CPU? This should not be an issue. I even closed my bot so that I'd have a better time. Also gonna just really quick do a that's not how you spell that. Okay, cool. Making sure the chat window is actually working. Um, but anyway, hello! Happy Tears of the Kingdom release day! I hope y'all have been having a good one. I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom all day long. Well, most of the day. Past couple of hours for sure. I'll talk, talk about it more in depth the day that I've had. When people get here, because oh boy. It's been something. It's been a roller coaster. One of those fucking days. And I haven't eaten dinner because I ate lunch at like 2.30 in the afternoon. So I'm snacking on Cheez-Its. Also, let me see if I can... I got my ears pierced last weekend. Mm, you can see it. Hell yeah. I think they're healing okay. The ones, the right side is still slightly sore, but you know, it's literally only, it hasn't even been a week. I feel like that's to be expected been doing my best to clean them diligently. The right side, which is the one that hurt, it hurts more, was the worst, like, harder one to pierce because there was, like, the tissue was, like, thicker or something. It wasn't scar tissue, but it was, like, sort of scar tissue. I don't even know what it would be. Like, I, I don't have any scars there or remember getting any kind of ear injury so I don't know but I assume that's why that side hurts more it hurt more to get pierced and it hurts more healing that's fine on the road um Checking that I opened the game. I did. What else do I want to ramble about before starting? I don't think there's anything. I mean, I have stuff I want to say, but nobody's here yet. So I will wait until so I can tell my, um, my story of why I only got fucking five hours of sleep last night. And it was not because I was playing Tears of the Kingdom like all night long. Because I feel like I stopped at a relatively reasonable time. Relatively. <laughs> but, okay. I'm gonna get the game of rolling. Here's the correct source. C 
see if I can remember the voices I gave everyone. What do, what happened last time? We're at a museum. We played as Daddy Edgeworth. Hopefully we will play as him again. Um, but right now it's present day. Larry is getting accused by the best, whatever the fuck his name is, and the British lady. What's her name? I have Cecilia in my head, and that is not it. Jennifer? Okay, whatever. She said it would only be a 10 minute recess. They sure are taking an awfully long time. <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting. Prosecutor DeBest presents Miss Delia Scones. Right, Delicia Scones. Oh god, I forgot she's British too. Um, oh god. You, ca you caught so I'm here. Here I am. Yes. It is I, Delicia Scones, the pharmacist who makes delicious drugs. But you can call me Miss Delicious. And you can call me Mr. DeBestest. DeBestest. Oi, nice to meet you, bestie. They've gone straight to nicknames. Huh? That boy. That was not it. Reminds me of someone. This is Miles Edgeworth. He's Gregory's son. Yes, see, nice to meet you, My Miley. Oh, no. Could you please not call me Miley? Meeting Greggy's boy. I guess that's a sign I'm getting old. I don't know what this voice I'm doing is. How old is this woman? Sebastian, isn't there something you'd like to ask, Miss Pharmacist? <clears throat> oh, right, yes. Miss Delicious, could you tell me the reason why you came to the gallery? Yes, see. I came to see the curator, Katie. I've always been friends with her. For, I've been always. Oh, oh, I've been friends with her for eighteen years, so I visit her quite quite often. This is this is a, a travesty. Is it true, Miss Pharmacist, that you also assisted in the treatment of Mr. Gustavia? I guess you could say that. Although I only made the antidote for the doctor. Doctor, what is happening? Wow, you made the antidote on the spot? Yes, see. As long as I have the right ingredients, I can easily I can make any drug easily. Alright. The infirmary here is well equipped, you see. Instead of sending him to the hospital in critical condition, we treated him right away. I did all I could. The rest depends on his body's ability to recover. Do you know the victim, Miss Delicious? Yes, see. Although it's been 18 years since I last saw him. I only knew he had become a world-famous pastry chef. Uh, is the victim that famous? I heard in the news that he had won a competition for designing desserts. That reminds me. I do remember him mentioning something about studying design in Sheng Fa. <sighs> now, let's get down to business. Miss Pharmacist, are you familiar with the drug Megatoxin X? Yes, see, it's the drug that, that's used to kill those things. It's mega effective. Because the effects are so potent, it's not available available to the general public. What is happening? I really, I... What are those things you're referring to? It's a drug for vanquishing creatures that strike fear into the heart of a lady. The ones that often infest kitchens and the like. Ah, uh, I think I know what she's talking about. 
So, Miss Pharmacist, may I ask you one more thing? Is she talking about bugs? Uh, do you know what happens when you mix normalium with fatalium? Yes, see, I know. It's even written on the warning label for Megatoxin X. Hazardous when mixed. When the two drugs are mixed together, a chemical reaction occurs and a gas is released. Inhaling a large amount of this gas can cause breathing difficulties and even death. From the amount of poison gas Gusty breathed in, I get, I think, there was probably at least 500 milliliters of each chemical in the gas. As expected of a pharmacist, she's very well informed. Normalium is an adhesive liquid that becomes hot as soon as heat is applied. Okay. It also has red color and a minty fragrance. Due to its low cost, it's used everywhere. Fatalium is white, watery liquid. That's enough for now. As expected of a pharmacist, you're very knowledgeable. Yes, see? Of course I am. Megatoxin X is one of the chemicals that the company I work for produces. Uh, but not just anyone has access to it. It's so potent as a poison that it couldn't be sold in the public after all. Thank you. I think that's all I need to hear. Does Judge Courtney suspect her? What is she hiding behind that smile? Oh, Flatfoot, have you made progress in the investigation or something? Yeah, let me tell you. The glass case cases that contain the sculptures can be opened by a mechanism in the lid. Hmm, what strange cases. The temperature in the cases can be lowered down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. The inside of the Pisces case was at this 27 Fahrenheit, so my hand nearly got stuck to the ice. Good thing it didn't. So then, in the lid of the Pisces case, we detected slight traces of normalium. Not bad. Huh, if the normalium was in a glass case at a temperature at 27 Fahrenheit, then it would have been frozen to the lid. Uh, really? So what happened? Mr. the Best, why don't we try borrowing the power of Kay's little thief? I think the circ circumstances will be easier to understand if we use our Mr. Thief. Hmm. So you really want to help me out that much? Fine. I'm not really sure how this all works, but you get on with it. I hate being bossed around by this guy, but to arrive at the truth, I'll do it. Out of the Stop acting as you please. The goddess of law has no need for your power. Don't be such a stick in the mud, Courtney Pie. We have approval of the prosecutor in charge, so what's the problem? Could it be that there's something the PIC doesn't want us to find out? That's none of your concern. If you insist on participating in the investigation, then let me check if you're qualified by asking you a question. What is she planning? Who set off the poison gas? If you can answer that, I'll allow you to work with us. Uh, well then, Miles? The person who opened the Pisces case and set off the gas? When you think about the circumstances, there's only one person it could have been. Yes, considering the circumstances, it's clear who it was. Give me your answer. Who set off the poison gas? I mean, I assume it's him. He was the only one in there. The music in this game is like bug. There was no one in the Autumn Palace other than the victim, Dame Gustavia. It's hard to believe it could have been anyone but him. It seems that way. Very well, I'll allow you to participate this time. However, if I feel you are a hindrance, I will have to ask you to leave. Understood. But what I don't understand is why the victim opened that case. The 
So, Mr. Edgeworth, what shall I recreate? Based on the information we've gathered so far, let's create the scene before the gas. Got it! Don't scare me like that! So this is the true power of the Sir Thief. Let's investigate the Pisces sculpture post haste. There's frozen normalium on the lid of the Pisces sculpture glass case. <clears throat> it's frozen so thick it can't even open the lid. In the actual glass case, the lid was heavily cracked. It was like someone had it out for the Pisces sculpture, sir. Do you have any idea how it came to be cracked like this? Hmm. Well. I was stuck in my teeth. The damage shouldn't seem to have come from outside of the case, sir. Sorry, what? So the case was below freezing point and the case had developed cracks. There are no signs of external damage. From this we can deduce. Below freezing. Like Mr. Edgeworth's cold stare. And cracked? Like Mr. Edgeworth's furrowed brow? Thermal fracturing. The cold glass case was heated from the outside, causing it to crack. <laughs> why, thermal f why did thermal fracturing occur here? And what caused it? Inside the thermally fractured glass case, there was a frozen normalium. There was frozen normalium. Oh, that face means you probably thought of something, Miles. Indeed, I have. I know how Mr. Gustavi was able to open the glass case. What? How can you possibly know something I don't? I say the thing he does know are in the minority. Things. I'm really not able to read today, more than usual. Hey, are you going to let me know? How did he open the case? Mm -hmm. That. Yep. Hot on cold equals explosion. This gas burner that was found in the Autumn Palace shows signs of recent use. I believe this was the cause of the thermal fracturing in the Pisces sculpture's glass case. Oh, and when normalium heats up, it melts. A gas burner? Why would he use something like that? I got it! The lid was frozen shut, so he had to use the burner to melt the ice. Indeed, that is correct. I just had a late start. I I'm still the best, you know. Okay. Late start? You didn't even understand a single thing, did you? Well, that's just because Mr. Edgeworth's explanation was too hard to follow. Okay, why don't you update the little thief so he can understand it? If you say so. Right, let's restart the recreation. The victim, Jane Gustavia, was the only one to enter the Autumn Palace. If you used a gas burner, then the normalium in the glass case would have melted. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then? <clears throat> the melted normalium would have come into contact with the fatalium inside the case. And produced the poison gas. The moment Mr. Gustavia opened the lid, he would have begun to un inhale the gas. He managed to drag himself out to the fountain patio just before his strength ran out. So he inhaled the gas when he opened the lid. Since he finally understands. Why did Mr. Gustavia open the glass case of the Pisces sculpture? The victim's goal, that I do not know yet. 
Perhaps he had the same reason as Uncle Ray. Maybe he actually came to see the Winter Palace, not the Autumn one. Uncle Ray also thought that this was the Winter Palace at first. Oi, you too, Ray Ray? Thought it. Actually, I thought so, thought so too. She, her voice is really hard to come back to. Looks just like Icy's room from 18 years ago. It's even got the exact same plants in front of the door. Seems everyone involved with the IS-7 incident made the same mistake. It is imperative that we investigate the real Winter Palace immediately. I should suggest that, that to Mr. DeBest. I get it now. Yeah, that's how it was. Uh, did you think of something? The victim committed suicide. He thought he would look refined if he died in an art gallery. I love his clown music. <laughs> his one step above clown, mu clown music. Have you even been listening? Well, if you're as smart as me, just hearing half of the story will be enough. Sebastian. I'll explain it from the top la later. Top? That means best, right? All right, I'll leave it to you. Yes. It would indeed be best to let Judge Courtney handle him. That aside, don't you have some information to inform everyone of? I totally forgot. What are you talking about? <laughs> we did a little checking on that pharmacist. We, meaning me, the best prosecutor's subordinate. That's not something to brag about. Shut up, you. Quiet down and listen. Suicide is, um, off the table for now, yeah. That's because, um, in short, that pharmacist is the culprit. She set up the glass as a, the gas as a trap. No. It's a terrible shame, Miss Pharmacist. How could one of the profession of saving lives stoop to extinguishing them? Huh? What are you saying? I would never do such a thing. Mr. DeBest, do you have a basis for these accusations? Of course. This is my basis. Her pharmacist license. It would permit her to handle Megatoxin X, right? And its active ingredient fatality was one of the components of the poison. Exactly. That chemical is almost impossible for ordinary people to obtain. But that pharmacist is another story altogether. It wasn't me. You got it all wrong. Objection. And that's not all. A bottle of Megatoxin X was found in the victim's pocket. And on the bottle, we found clear fingerprints. Yours. <clears throat> what has happened to my voice? You and the curator took the victim to the infirmary, right? That would have given you the perfect opportunity to plant the bottle on him. That's... You are the only pharmacist on the premises who could have handled Megatoxin X. Furthermore, as for the curator of this art gallery, you're an acquaintance of hers. You would have had access to the gallery at any time in order to prepare the poison gas trap. Please wait, that Megatoxin X, it was stolen. Trying to lie your way out of this won't go well with me. It's true. Look, I've got the proof right here in my bag. What is she searching for? Not this, not this either. Hmm? I remember seeing cloth like that recently. Ah, here. Please take a look at this. Hmm? Some sort of paper? What's it say? April 1st, theft report accepted. Stolen item, Megatoxin X. This is a theft report acceptance cer Theft report acceptance certificate. What? You see, truth is, one week ago, my Megatoxin X was stolen. <coughs> One week ago? That means you didn't have it with you today. Yes, see, that bottle you just found is probably the one that was stolen from me. 
I normally carry that bottle of Megatox next to my bag at all times. Even though I often forget to keep it locked up. It would never even, I would never even think about mixing it with Normalium. But why in the world would you carry such a dangerous substance on your person? Well, you never know when those things will appear. Those, those, those creatures that infest the kitchen, striking fear into the heart of a lady, right? Although if you had a rolled up newspaper, you could just squash them with one blow. Justine, what do we do now? Just court. She's got a lot of names. Well then, come freely accept this death report. Let's ask for confirmation. That should clearly tell us whether or not she's lying. Right, well then, I'll just call and confirm it. <clears throat> Looks like Miss Delicious isn't the culprit. Indeed, if she really did set up the poison gas as a trap, I don't believe she would do it in the way that incriminates her the most. So, Miles, who do you think is the culprit? Predicting the actions of the victim would require a fair amount of advanced planning. There's only one person here capable of that. Huh? Uncle Ray would like to know, too. What do you suspect? You're gonna make me pick? The one who stole the Megatoxidex and prepared the room in advance was... She's the curator! Okay, good. Had to be the curator of the Zodiac Art Gallery, Miss Catherine Hall. However, I still don't have any evidence that she's the criminal yet. I see. She is... The way he said that just now sounded like he had been expecting it. Hmm. Good job, Miles. I was expected from Uncle Ray's future apprentice. I have no intention of becoming your apprentice. <laughs> and I will now announce the results of my verification. I can confirm that her theft report is indeed accepted. Therefore, it's a little too early to come to a decision. Hmm. That means your logic was completely faulty. You're wrong. My real performance is still to come. Really? And how do you plan to proceed with your investigation? That's... First, we need to speak with the curator. And after that... Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Sebastian. Mr. Gust Gust Gustavia may have had business in the Winter Palace. I believe we should send an investigator there as well. Oh, th that's good too. Detective Gumshoe, investigate the Winter Palace at once. Uh, got it, sir. Justine, let's go talk to the curator. Yes, let us proceed. We should go and listen to what Miss Hall has to say as well. Oh. What a nice crack. All right, I want you guys to listen to what the curator has to say. Mr. Best, you weren't going to go and talk to her yourself. Nah, that's a job for my subordinates. All I have to do is wait for the report. I'm the best prosecutor after all. Such arrogance. Well, this is anticlimactic. I'm gonna chill for a bit. Huh? What's that in the fountain? Ah! Oh, Jesus! There's a dead body in the fountain. What is the meaning of this? Who is it? Silence, everyone. Forensics, identify this body at once. It's terrible, pal. Please be quiet, detective. The ice sculptures in the Winter Palace. They've all melted, pal. Jesus. What? 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 It's worth. 
Oh my god. What's going on here? There are two victims now. This is all just like 18 years ago. Once again, the ice sculptures have melted. Again? And everyone related to the incident 18 years ago is gathered here now. This is no mere coincidence. Don't you think so, Miles? Yes. The key to finding the truth of this case lies in the IS-7 incident. This is what I believe. That's right. Uncle Ray thinks so, too. Looks like it's time once again for Uncle Ray to tell you about the IS-7 incident. Do we have any, like, actual... That was... Okay. Hell yeah. It was very short. I'll take it. I mean, there's fucking nine parts, so... I just would hope a couple of them are pretty short. But, like, holy shit. This is the IS-7 incident. Shut up. 18 years ago. Gregory Edgeworth's last case. Isaac Dover was murdered at the venue of a dessert contest. And his body was discovered in a chocolate treasure chest made by Jeff Master. The victim died from blood loss after being struck in the head with a rock salt lamp. The murder weapon was found hidden inside Delicia's candy castle. Then, in the victim's room, where no one had searched yet, all of Dover Sherbert sculptures had melted. Eighteen years ago. Christmas Eve. <clears throat> the sculptures in Mr. Dover's room have melted. Due to that, Prosecutor Von Karma immediately drove us away from the scene. How are we going to investigate now? And what's with that? Defense attorney's out. Von Karma's methods are deplorable. Well, well, investigating the crime scene is supposed to be the police's job, after all. You gotta admit, Von Karma's methods are way out of line. Defense attorneys and the police should work together to discover the truth. Raymond, we must realize that not everyone shares the same views as us. Should one expose the truth for the sake of justice, or simply accept things as they appear? Everyone has their own view on what is right and what is wrong. Even if it means convicting an innocent man? Both ourselves and the police are only human. And as humans, we all make mistakes. <sighs> it's for this reason that we defense attorneys exist. So that those who are alone and helpless can have an ally on their side. An ally on their side. We cannot investigate. Shouldn't we just find some other way to help? I'm sorry, Mr. Edgeworth. I, I still have much to learn. Hmm. You're still young. So you'll have many opportunities to learn. Right, I'll do my best. Monsieur Edward and Monsieur Shields, would you like to take a brief respite? I gave up on whatever that accent I was doing was. I know it's not much, but please eat these. Wow, thank you. Very handmade and misshapen, is that what that just said? Very sweet and quite misshapen. Okay. Let's eat. I appreciate getting some sugar into my system, but these are a little too sweet. And it's a little misshapen too, okay. I'm terribly sorry. Does it not suit your tastes? Not at all, it's deliciously sweet. <laughs> Thank you very much. But baking sweets isn't really my forte. Huh? You made this chocolate, Katie? Or Kate? Yes, chocolate is Monsieur Master's favorite food. Preparing, preparing his favorite food is also part of my job. But I'm not. I'm still not good at it. 
So I need him to instruct me. That good at it. I envy Master Jeff. He gets to eat Kate's handmade sweets whenever he wants. Did you say something? Did you say something? Uh, no, it's nothing. This is so sweet in more ways than one. <laughs> Miss Hall, you seem very dedicated to your work. Without my work, I wouldn't even have the right to be here. What do you mean? When I was a child, I was abandoned. Monsieur Master took me in. One snowy Christmas Eve, I was left on the doorstep of his mansion. I owe Monsieur Master my life. He became like a father to me. And so, to repay his kindness, I want to continue working for him. Kate, you are incredible. I've lived a long life. Yet, that brought tears to even my eyes. Do we have... No, we don't have profiles on ourselves anymore. Today, Christmas Eve has finally arrived once more. But it looks like I won't be able to give him the present I prepared. I would do anything if it meant saving Monsieur Master. If there's any way I could be of service to you, please ask. Yes, I appreciate that. Well then, do you happen to know anything about the victim, Isaac Dover? I don't really know much about Monsieur Dover, but... I have a photo of the desserts he made for the contest finals. Hmm, this is certainly a splendid piece of work. Yes, with this exquisite beauty, it truly, it's truly a work of art. It's crafted so intricately that you almost forget it's made out of sherbet. It seems Monsieur Master was also fond of Monsieur Dover's work as well. Wow, these are Taurus and Gemini constellations. Do you know a lot about constellations, Raymond? Of course. There's so much romance in the constellations. For example, take the club, lyre, and arrow held by Gemini here. These come from... Huh? There are no strings on this leer. Liar. Whatever it is. Hmm? Did Mr. Dover make a mistake in his sculpting? It's hard to think he would make a mistake like that. Huh? Huh? I thought you said you didn't know much about him. Uh, uh, I, uh, just sort of felt that way somehow. It appears she is hiding something from us. Miss Hall. Did you take this photograph yourself? Yes, I took it with this instant camera. It develops pictures instantly. It's one of my greatest treasures. Did they get like sponsored by some kind of instant camera company and then the sponsorship got take, like did they get sponsored by a Polaroid and then the sponsorship got like yanked at the last minute? Cause like every case has had an instant camera. I feel like, like this is like the fourth time an, an instant camera has been mentioned. Wow, I would love to see it in action. <laughs> well then, why don't we take a picture right now? Yay, let's have our picture taken, Mr. Edgeworth. Sure, I don't mind. I'm confident in my hairstyle today. <laughs> I love him. All right, I'm taking the picture. Say cheese. Here, it's developed. A present from me to you, Mr. Shields. Wow, thank you so much. That's such a great camera. It's the only camera in this mansion. Unfortunately, its convenience comes at a cost. There are no negatives. No negatives, huh? Is this the same camera Mr. Master used during the contest? Yes, you're well informed. While he made his desserts, Mr. Master photographed his work. that he took photos of all the other competitors' works. Was he taking photos at the time the body was found? Body was discovered during judging, was it not? Monsieur Master intended to take photos of everyone's rooms, but... 
after he photographed Gustavia's room, he ran out of film. Once your master asked me to change the film in the camera, even the film he prepared in advance wasn't enough. It wasn't enough film. It seems the number of photos he took didn't match up with the amount of film remaining. Well, he told me himself it might have just been a mistake, though. Was it really just a mistake? I'm surprised that didn't become a logic thing. I retrieved more, I retrieved more film from the main building went back to the fountain patio. And it was then that I heard the sound of something breaking in Monsieur Master's room. So when did this photo get taken? And that's when I found Mr. Dover's body in Mr. Ma Monsieur Master's room. It was so terrible. I was really shaken up. Before I spoke to anyone else, I called the police. This camera, I kept it with me ever since. I see. It's all right with you. Would you mind lending me your camera and this photo? Sure, I don't mind at all. Here you go. Thank you very much. Okay. There's the difference. Detective Bad, Miss Delicious. The investigation over already? He said he has no more use for me and kicked me out. Hmm, Manny, that meanie. What a rude thing to say. <clears throat> it's probably to ensure you wouldn't eat any more of a crime scene. <clears throat> So, Detective Bad, did you get kicked out, too? Seems Von Kama thought I was getting in the way. He won't let me investigate. Why would he prohibit his own detective from investigating? Because he's fabricating evidence. But we know just about all there is to know about the crime scene. Right now, he's talking to Gustavia in Dover's room. Why does he need to speak to Mr. Gustavia? We're not good games for eating during, but I love to snack. We heard from Hall that Gustavia was seen entering the victim's room. Mr. Gustavia? Yes, I saw him entering Dover's room. He seemed like he was trying to avoid being seen. Although, I have no idea what he did in there. He is currently under suspicion for melting Dover's sherbet. Just why did Mr. Gustave enter that room? I also have a photo of Dover's room here, if you need it. I'd like to take a look at it. Uh, what? Why would you do that for us? Hmm. You still don't get it, kid. I'm saying I want to help you guys in order to discover the truth of this case. Detective Bad. Is is that alright, Detective Bad? Won't Von Karma chew you out again? I have no intention of becoming Von Karma's lapdog. If you won't let me investigate, I'll just do as I like. Hell yeah, Bad! Getting tied up in stupid rules will we blind you to the truth. He's the Yadagarasi right now. Isn't that right, Attorney Edgeworth? Of course, Detective Bad. Thank you. This is amazing, Mr. Edgeworth. Now we've got Detective Bad on our side. I don't really get what's going on, but I'm glad you boys are all friends now. I'm grateful that he'll lend us his strength. Well then, can we see that photo though? Right. This is the current state of Dover's room. And that's knocked over. Wow, the ship is completely melted. The room is drenched in a light blue liquid. We should compare this with the photo Miss Hall took. 
Did the sherbet melt because the power cord was pulled out? Okay. Yeah, because it was pulled. All the refrigerated glass cases lost power completely. Looks like all the power looks like all the power cords were connected to one socket. Do you have any idea when this cord was pulled? No. It's still under investigation at the moment. What a waste of beautiful sherbet. Honestly, had I known it would end up like this, I would have eaten even more of the stuff. Do Mr. Dover sherbet taste that good? Oh yes, he is. Sherbet was most delicious. Really? I wish I could have eaten some too. But there was one piece that was so salty, even I couldn't eat it. Salty? Right, right here in this photo. It was part of that li liar. The strings? You ate the strings? That's the Lyra from the Gemini constellation. You stuck a bite from the liar. That's why the strings are missing. I'm saying that word different every single time I realize it. Fi, I could never have eaten that much. It was way too salty. Okay. One part of the sherbet tasted different. I'm rather curious. Did someone other than her also take a bite out of it? Did you notice anything else? Now that you mention it, Icy's sherbet sculpture had these strange markings on them. They had two letters carved into them. Wait a minute. There it is. There. Looks something like this. An alphabet signature? It can't be. I knew it. I just knew that Monsieur Dover made the made this leer. He isn't one to make mistakes in his sculptures, after all. Miss Hall, it's been troubling me for a while, but do you know something about Mr. Dover? Huh? Why would I know something about Mr. Do Monsieur Dover? You seem quite attached to Mr. Dover's handiwork. That's just because the sculptures are such great works of art. No, I believe his works are very special to you in particular. How do you know that? There's a piece of evidence that we believe belongs to Mr. Dover. And it happens to share a common feature with another piece of evidence. Please show me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Which two pieces of evidence share something in common? Two pieces that point to Mr. Dover. Let's start with presenting the first one. Now, the second piece of evidence, which shares a common feature, is... The connection between these two pieces of evidence tells all. Nope, I got it wrong. <laughs> exactly those two connected. Okay. Valued that she was collecting. Okay. Salty. I mean, if the crest feels God, I don't know. What? <laughs> I mean, I, I feel 
can look at this, but maybe not yet. Oh, wait. Is the number of pictures wrong? Because she took a fuck ton of pictures? <laughs> of this? Oh, what? I don't, I don't know. I'm looking it up. I've examined this. Pierre Hoquet. This whole Mr. Master seems to be a big fans of the sculptor's work. Initials, huh? If it were mine, it'd be RS. Why don't you try carving your initials into your own belongings? Okay. I would have never guessed this. Never. Okay. <laughs> Felicia saw two letters of the alphabet. They were probably used in Mr. Dover's signature. Just as an artist would sign their name on their works. Right. Oi, I remember now. I see Shepard's sculpture had PH carved into them. I'm sure of it. PH? Those aren't Isaac, Do Isaac Dover's initials, though. No. We found this seal at the scene of the crime. It had probably fallen out of the late Mr. Dover's pocket. You have pressed the seal into something. It will mark the letters P-E-H. Also, the very same P-H symbol is engraved into this teapot. The same symbol? This teapot was made by the sculptor Pierre Hoquet. In other words, this PH is a signature of Pierre Hoquet. Miss Hall, you know all about the signature all too well, don't you? Yes. Mr. Hoquet's work always bears that signature. As he never shows himself in public, his signature is used to identify his works. No way. Are you saying Pierre Hoquet is... Seems Detective Babb has also realized Isaac Dover's true identity. To Miss Hall, Mr. Dover was no ordinary pastry chef. That's because his true identity was a fan of sculptures. That's right. Mr. Dover's true identity was the sculptor Pierre Hoquet. What? Mr. Dover was a sculptor? Things like signatures can be faked. You have original, the original designs. Can you really use that as proof he was a sculpture? Sculptor? Not sculpture. No, but what's important here is that Miss Hall thought he was. As for proving his real identity, I'll leave that to the police. I get it. I'll have the boys check up on it. As I expected from you, Gregory Edgeworth. <clears throat> you, you knew Mr. Dover's real identity all along, didn't you? Yes. When I discovered the body, I noticed the seal. I knew from that moment he was Pierre Roquette, the man I greatly admired. Thinking that this would be his final posthumous work, I just couldn't sit still. So, that's why you entered Dover's room? Huh? Wh what did you say? When exactly did you take this photo of Dover's room? Th that was... Perhaps it was taken during the judging. Objection. No, you said that he didn't even make it there. That's strange. 
I thought you said the camera ran out of film during the judging. Before Mr. Masters entered Dover's room, you were the one in possession of the camera. Wasn't that why you were able to take the photo when you discovered the body? Yes, that's right. The only photo you took was the new film from Dover's room and the body. If that's the case, a new contradiction comes to light. Another one? A piece of evidence that contradicts the two photos Miss Hall took. The game really hates this screen with the music. Oh my god, my glasses are... I'm gonna throw them into a river. she get into them was my thought process because only he has the key. Mm-hmm. Start at the beginning. No. 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 Maybe it's the camera like I thought before. I was wrong. It was like the missing photos. So she took more photos. That is my instant camera. I've already handed the photos of Dover's room and the body to myself and the police. That reminds me, didn't you also take a photo of me and Mr. Edgeworth just now? Film used in this camera can take up to 20 photos. However, this camera only has three photos left. It's only 14 photos unaccounted for. Exactly what were they used to photograph? Ah. Please show us all the photos you took. You will be able to discern your actions from these photos. I'm so sorry. I have told a terrible lie. Don't tell me. All of the remaining shots were of Isaac, Isaac Dover's room. My deepest apologies. It seems they're all shots of the ice sculptures from various angles. But when did when were these taken? The sculpt when these were taken, the sculptures had not melted yet. But that means the one who caused them to melt was you. Yes, I'm positive that I melted them. You are positive. I am an aficionado of the sculptor Pierre Hoquette, who is actually Monsieur Dover. Before the authorities could defile his finer ma final masterpieces during their investigation, I thought I should preserve them through photographs. Hence, I entered his room. In that case, why did all the ice melt? It's probably because as I was taking pictures, I became entranced with his works. And it seems that my foot accidentally got caught in the power cord unplugging it. Accidentally, you say? I did not notice the power cord at the time. I would never have imagined that I would be the cause of those sculptures melting. Could the truth really be that simple? No. However, I cannot say with certainty that she's lying. I'm so sorry to have caused her all so much trouble. As long as you're telling the truth, there's no need to apologize. That's right. Don't sweat it, Kate. Thank you very much. Edgeworth. Here, take this picture. 
Do what it would. Do what you want with it. Two photos. Okay. Okay, so before and after. You meddling fool, still having given up yet, have you? <clears throat> no matter how long you wait, I have no intention of allowing a defense attorney to investigate. No matter if we can't investigate, we'll find the truth some through some other method. Always ready with a comeback. Well, do try your best. <clears throat> um, excuse me, Mr. Von Karma. The truth is, it was I who melted the ice sculptures in Mr. Monsieur Stouffer's room. What? What's the meaning of this, you clod? I'm truly sorry, both to you and Monsieur Gustavia. Do not be concerned with me. Sir Von Karma has already recognized that I had no hand in this act. That reminds me. Why did you enter Mr. Dover's room, Mr. Gustavia? Uh, well, that was because... Silence, ignoramus. You are not to give that attorney the tiniest hint of information. Catherine Hall, you are coming with me. You are under suspicion of being complicit in the murder. No! I shall be interrogating you personally. You best prepare yourself. Very well. Please wait, I still have some questions I want to ask her. I do not care for your sorry plight in the least. I hate this man. All my bones. Bad Gustavia, and while I'm at it, you as well, scones. I have plenty of questions for you all. Hmm. Understood. Understood. Fine. While I'm at it, he says, the nerve. He just took everyone away with him. Yes. Even if we stay here, I don't think we'll be able to investigate any further today. Let's take our leave for now. It's already grown rather late. I hope the snow has stopped by now. Sounds good. I'm starving anyway. Let's stop somewhere for hamburger, Sam, before my stomach joins the chorus. You can't fight on an empty stomach after all. After all. We'll need to report back to Mr. Master with our findings first thing tomorrow. Okay, that was also very short. Why would no be the default? Oh, hi. Huh? What are you doing here, Kate? Oh, Monsieur Shields and Monsieur Edgeworth. Allow me to apologize once again for all the trouble I caused you yesterday. Miss Hall looks a bit tired. Has Von Karma finished interrogating you? Yes, aside from what happened to the ice sculptures, I was not at fault for anything else. Are you also here to meet with Master Jeff, Kate? Yes. I'm worried about how he's holding up. Oh. Detective Bad, why are you here? I just happened to be here. I'll be heading to the crime scene soon. I don't think this is a place that people happen to be, though. <clears throat> oh, God. Was his hair white? I don't think it was white before. Hello. Master Jeff! What happened to you? Oh no, Mr. Master. Why do you look so poor? I didn't get much sleep last night. The tribulation known as questioning was rather harsh. harsh. I'm just a little exhausted. They didn't let you sleep? Even for an interrogation? That's going too far. Detective Bad! The detective in charge of the initial investigation was also in charge of the interrogation. I don't like Von Karma's methods, but 
this was all I could do. <clears throat> he was the one who brought me here. It seems. I was supposed to be interrogated for a little bit longer, though. Hmm. It seems that Detective Bad is looking out for Mr. Master in his own way. Jesus Christmas. Poor man. So shall we inform Mr. Master about what happened yesterday, Raymond? Yes, sir. I got all my memos right here. Mr. Master, we would like to inform you about yesterday's investigation. Yes, thank you very much. Please go ahead. Master Jeff, it's almost like your spirit's gone. Uh, my sugar levels are low, so I might not seem like my usual energetic self. As your master. Do we have anything that we can give his spirit and glucose a boost? Yes, we do! Mr. Master? Yes, what is it? Look, Dizzy Master Jeff. Okay, I gotta give him the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I was supposed to present it to him first. I understand my mistake. A gift. Oh, those chocolates. Are you giving them to me? Ah, those chocolates are... If possible, I would like to give them to you immediately. But it's against the rules to give anything to the suspects in the detention center. I see, regrettably. If those are the rules, then there's nothing we can do about it. Are you sure there's no way we can give them to him? Detective Bad, looks like he noticed what we're trying to ask of him. Tisk. I'll inspect the chocolates, and if there's no problems, I'll think about it. Detective Bad, thank you very much. All right, I knew we could count on you, Detective Bad. <clears throat> I am truly in your debt. Wait right here. Take it. Thank you very much. Not a word to anyone else. It will cause problems for me later. <clears throat> yes, of course. I apologize for making you go through so much trouble. Now I shall partake in eating these delicious delights at once. I'm sorry for asking you to do something so dangerous, Detective Bad. Hmm. I only did what I wanted to do. Why can't you just be... Why can't you just be honest here, Detective? How sweet. It's like I come back to life. Did Kate make these chocolates? Yes, sir, I did. How does it taste? Oh, God. This is the perfect time to eat more Cheez Its. Thank you for the tasty treat. You're a bit misshapen, but so sweet and delicious. Thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Out of water. And above all, it helped you regain your spirit. Thank you for your concern. The food they serve here has been absolutely tasteless. And combined with the lack of sleep, I was thoroughly exhausted. Is the food here that bad? Just salt beef and stew. Your average prison fare. That is odd. I really could not taste anything. Whatever. I'm about to head out to the crime scene. Please wait, Detective Bad. Can you give us any new information? Yeah. I think I can. We've identified the victim. Just as you said, Isaac Dover was a sculptor who worked in France. It seemed he went by the name Pierre Hoquet. Isaac Dover was Pierre Hoquet. How could that be? Monsieur Pierre Hoquet. 
So Pierre Roquette wasn't actually French, huh? Which is likely why he never showed himself in public while he worked under that name. The Zodiac Sculptures. <clears throat> they were his masterpieces, it seemed. It seems. Although, he will remain forever unfinished. Unfinished? Even though they were his masterpieces? Seems he worked on them by season. Once he finished the remaining winter constellations, his work would be done. Huh? The winter constellations are Taurus and Gemini, right? So those ice sculptures were his final pieces. It is heartbreaking that they melted. I cannot apologize enough. I, no, I wasn't blaming you or anything. <clears throat> also, Dover was infamous for being greedy. He would charge hundreds of thousands just to make a single sculpture. Seems like he always had money troubles. The murder might be related to that, but it's still under investigation. So he had money problems even though he was a famous artist? Do you know why he entered a dessert contest? Not yet. He kept it a secret, even from his family. I see. It's time. I'm bringing in the replacement god. I can't hang around here any longer than I have. Yes, I understand. Let's meet again later. That detective is a kind soul. Indeed. He never strays from his own beliefs. He truly has a strong will. But it's pretty scary when you first meet him. I see. Could you tell me everything that happened yesterday? Of course. Allow me to give you a report of our investigation. So this is what happened. I'm sorry for the trouble Kate has caused you. I'm truly very sorry. You have no need to, speak, to worry, so long as you have told the truth, Miss Hall. Mr. Master, would you mind if I asked you a few questions as well? Yes, I shall di divulge all that I know. There we go. Please tell us about the other three contestants in the final round of your contest. Let's see. Miss Delicious's desserts had a fantastic design. However, she broke the rules, so I could not recognize her as the winner. Up until the semifinals, Mr. Gustavia's flavors and designs were to my liking. Unfortunately, both the taste and appearance of his final entry left much to be desired. And there was something strange about his dessert in the semifinals. <clears throat> something strange. Both Mr. Gustavia's and Mr. Dover's desserts had the exact same taste. They had different designs, but in terms of taste, it was like eating the same thing. What did they look like? There should be a picture of them at my mansion. Please, allow me to show you later. Certainly, thank you very much. And then, there was Mr. Dover's Schubert sculptures. Oh, they were absolutely heavenly. Mm hmm? Did you have a chance to taste his creations? If I recall correctly, his body was discovered in the middle of judging. Yes, but I was not informed until after the judging had finished. Since he was not present in the room, I helped myself to a piece of his edible leer. It was fantastically delicious. It was so moved I broke into song. Wait a moment, please. Did you say the leer was delicious? Could you please give us a little more detail about that? You ate the leer from the sculpture in Mr. Dover's room, correct? Yes, that was, that was the one that was in the same glass case as the Gemini sculpture. Please have a look at this picture, Mr. Master. <clears throat> Can you eat from this leer that's missing the strings? Yes, that leer originally had strings. However, I ate them all, resulting in what you see here in this picture. The strings in the lyre were missing because he ate them. Actually, Delicia ate part of the same lyre that you did. 
However, she said it was so salty that she could not eat it. You don't say. That means there might be a problem with my sense of taste after all. Problem with your sense of taste? How so? There is a taste disorder called hypo dysphasia in which you lose the abilities to taste salt. Perhaps I have contracted this illness. I just never realized it since I eat nothing but sweets. Jesus. However, I now know with certainty. So that's why he couldn't tell what the food they served here tasted like. Okay. No! For a pastry chef to lose their sense of taste is fatal! Even if there is treatment for taste impairment, there isn't a cure for it yet. But it's probably best that you let the police know so you can receive a medical examination. No, that won't be necessary. There is a recipe in my mansion specifically for making the cure. What? A recipe for a drug that will cure your taste impairment? Yes. Please look for it later when you return to the mansion. Monsieur Master, that means revealing the... Kate, we should no longer conceal it from Mr. Gregory. Yes, sir. I understand. If it, 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 if it that is your wish. Recipe for a special drug. What are they hiding? Who's letting pastry chefs make drugs? Well then, I must be returning to the mansion now, so I will take my leave. Yes, we'll be heading there later as well. Kate. What is it, Mr. Master? You should not live for my sake. You should reconsider your lifestyle so that you can live by yourself, even if I were no longer around. Please do not say things like that. I simply cannot live without you, Monsieur Master. How old is she? 16. Oh, she's a kid. I promise to wait for you until you return. Excuse me. No. Kate. Catherine. Master Jeff, Kate was crying. Why did you say something so cruel? I'm worried about her. Catherine always puts me before herself. What do you mean? She collects Pierre Roquette's work and makes sweets. All to make me happy, nothing more. That is the only reason she does anything. She always puts aside her own preferences and things that she wants to do herself. <clears throat> I want Catherine to choose to live her own life. I do not want her to waste her valuable life because of me. Is that so? He thinks of Miss Hall as his own daughter. And he would want his children to choose their own path in life. And a parent would do anything to protect their own children. That feeling, I also know it well. Well, that should do it for the questions. We must return to the scene of the crime. Ah, it is already time to leave, I see. So, will my tribulations of questioning resume? We should take measures against their interrogations from our side as well. Can you ask the police about that? I can, but I have other ways in mind as well. When the time comes, you are a dependable man. I shall be counting on you. Master Jeff, we'll come here every day with reports of our progress. And we'll bring Kate, too. Yes, thank you very much. I shall be looking forward to it. Mr. Master, know that the police will be attempting to get you to confess. I am sorry to ask an innocent soul like yourself to bear with these painful experiences. But please hold on for now. If you confess, I am positive that Von Karma will use that to his advantage. And that will make helping you all that, more, all that much more difficult. 
I understand. I shall do my best. If you believe in me until the bitter end, I will definitely get you out of here. Hi, Nico! You gotta be honest. <clears throat> Thought I was taking a flick. <laughs> no, no, I don't have a capture card. So, that's not gonna happen. I want to finish this game. I was playing right before this, so. Detective Bad, thank you for helping us earlier. Oh, that I wasn't streaming? No. I'm just gonna play all weekend, basically. Um, cause I can't drive anywhere, so. Doesn't matter. Just gonna sit in the basement and play Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks for what? <laughs> ah, there's no need to be shy about it. Tisk. Enough about that. I suppose you intend to investigate today, too? Of course, we still need more information to prove Mr. Master's innocence. Do you want to hear about my insane 24 hours, Nico? I'm so tired. Last night. You know, I played Tears of the Kingdom when it, it dropped because I got the digital. Played from like midnight to like 3.30 in the morning. Minnie refuses to settle down. She's nuts. All night, she's like barking at things. So when I turn it off, I, I get her. I'm like, okay, I'll play with her a little bit, tire her out. Get her to shut up. She's like running between the front window and the back door to like look out them and is like barking at nothing animals god only knows what's out there i was awake with her until 6 a.m 6 a.m trying to get her to to calm down and to go to sleep 6 a.m is when i went to bed and i slept for like five hours Ab ab absolutely the worst and then i get up at like 11 30 yeah um six in the morning she like finally settled down. i like fell asleep for like half a second and then i heard her make a noise and she was finally like laying in this the hallway upstairs and i was like i'm going to bed fuck you <laughs> so i got up this morning ran some errands i needed to get like mother's day stuff because i only had like one thing um you know i did my errands picked up some lunch drive home my fucking tire is flat as you saw the pictures don't know how that happened i went and checked the tire again can't see any nails can't see any like punctures granted like a third of the tire is flat against the ground because it's completely flat but you know um no idea what caused that so we'll see if that can be fixed in some way um and what happened there's something else that happened. I don't even know. Then I just played more Breath of the, or Tears of the Kingdom. I keep wanting to just call it Breath of the Wild 2, which I it technically is, but it's not that. Um, I'm so tired. We'll see how late I make it, cause oh my god, it's just like a roller coaster of like. Yay, gaming! Oh no, my dog is keeping me up all night. Yay, running errands and going to Target and like getting yummy lunch. Oh no, my fucking car is broken. Yeah, it's just. I'm sorry, but apart from this patio, you're not allowed to investigate anywhere else. What? So you're saying we can't investigate? I'm guessing this is Von Karma's doing. Yeah. Von Kam is a bit on edge at the moment. He still hasn't received the autopsy report. Moreover, the only ones in this mansion are Miss Hall and the police. So don't get your hopes up on speaking with the people connected to this case. Von Kam is being completely unreasonable. He's gone too far. 
how was your day though, Nico? Outside of how fucking hot your office was. I gotta hope they fucking turn on the air conditioning for you guys. What do you intend to do? I promised I'll do anything I can to assist you. You have my thanks. We won't let any of Von Karma's dirty tricks get the best of us. Dr. Bad, is it alright if we investigate the fountain patio? Yes, but we've already finished checking everything, except for the fountain. That's fine. As long as there's still something, I shall continue investigating. Beautiful. This has a lot of instruments. Seems these musical instruments were used in piece of cake. Of course, these probably aren't made of candy. Detective Bad looks somewhat disappointed. Oh. Santa Claus! It's a figure of Santa Claus. I suppose it's also made of candy. Behind that door is Master's room. This Santa is probably another one of his works. Santa, huh? I wonder what I should get my son for Christmas this year. Dude, it is Christmas Day, is it not? I think he said he wants an attorney's badge. I wonder if I could ask Mr. Master to make him one out of candy. Is it not Christmas Day right now? Hold on. Yeah, because yesterday was Christmas Eve. Oh, I gotta hold on. Man finally sent this fucking. Here we go. Thank you for retweeting the stream, Nico. Okay, here we go. What an amazing trophy. Probably. Masses. Worlds of greatest pastry chef, huh? Worlds. Not worlds of. It's also made of candy. Doesn't seem like it would last long. Honor and glory don't last long. I think that's the lesson here. I don't think it's quite as deep as that. Is there, okay, I mean, we're just gonna go to the fountain. These angel statues look like they're eating chocolate fondue. Would seem these angel statues are also Pia Hoquette's work. As expected, they're very well made. Looks like the real thing. So you've seen a real angel before, Detective Bad? <laughs> Defense attorneys. Always the first to find fault with everything. Hmm. Perhaps that was wrong of me. Yeah, if you said it as a joke, then maybe, but... You know. The owner of the works in each room are written on this notice board. On the left, Mr. Master, Mr. Gustavia, Miss Delicia, and Mr. Dover. Incidentally, it would seem the board is also made of candy. Do they pl plan to eat all this stuff when the contest is over? Okay. But they hadn't checked the fountain yet. Alright. Where does this elevator go? To the, sec to the second floor. Master and Hall's uh, quarters. Apparently, on their days off, Master makes candy and holds tea parties upstairs. This man... He's gotta be, like, pre-diabetic, right? If all he eats is sweets? I, I really hope he's taking care of himself in other ways. <laughs> but it's a nice day. They probably have it in the gardens or something. That sounds nice. I'd like an invite when the case is over. Would you like to come too, Detective Bad? You're wasting your breath. Don't fraternize with attorneys. Okay. Just trying to make conversation. I need the trophies Master has received replaced here. 
Besides dessert contests, there are also awards for his charity work. An evident display of both his skill and character. Hmm? This trophy is... To recognize the TV program Piece of Cake for giving children hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. Now I want to see it too. Okay, what else do I need to look at? Oh my god, there she is. I totally missed you the first time around. Hello! Miss Hall, come to investigate today. Mr. Edgeworth, I apologize for my disgraceful behavior earlier. Hey, she still looks a bit down. What Master said earlier must have been a real shock to her. I prepared the photo I took of the desserts during the semi-final finals. Please take a look. Wow, Delicia's cake is so cute. They are basically the same, except this has been- t They are basically the same. Like, this is the beak, is the horn, and then obviously the feathers. Uh, there's the mountain has been turned into a horse, but the same flowers, the, sa the tail is the tail. Interesting. Mr. Kate also praised the design of Delicia's work very highly. Mr. Master. Oh my god. I know, I do, I want to eat them. They're all so pretty. The grapes. I really just want to like, like this looks like the best vanilla icing. Yeah, cake does sound really good right now, Nico. <laughs> I wish. Mrs. Gustavia and Dover's work gained high praise for both taste and design, but Mr. Master said it felt like he was eating the exact same thing twice. But it seems that the desserts had completely different tastes for the finals. Was there anything else that was different between the finals and the semifinals? It's nothing major, but there was something. During the contest, Mr. Gustavia's son always came to see him, but there was no sign of him at the finals. His son came to visit? I wonder if there's any significance behind that. Would you mind leaving this photo with me? Certainly. Anything to aid the investigation. Who's texting me? Hold on, before I forget. And here's a recipe book that contains a special drug for curing taste disorders. That cover looks familiar. Wasn't this framed in Master's room? Since it's also the prize for the contest, we put it out on display. Uh, so the contest prize Angel's recipe? It wasn't just a recipe for desserts? That's right. We've informed the participants, but seems you all don't know yet. The participants knew about the true contests of the angel's recipe. Hypoguasia. Miss Hall, please tell me all you know about the angel's recipe. So, the angel's recipe contains the formula for the drug. Yes, it's a recipe book for new drugs that haven't been released to the public yet. What the fuck? <laughs> If sold to a pharmaceutical company, I'm sure it would fetch a substantial price. Well, that's why Delicia is in the contest. Why is something like that a prize in the contest? Mr. Master is the only heir to the chairman of the Master Group. Master Group? That name sounds familiar. They're the pharmaceutical company who deal in a wide range of products. Ah, they've become big, big news recently with the release of Cold Killer X. Oh God, our friend Cold Killer X. I often use Cold Killer products. But I never once seen you with a cold. I'd like to hear more about the Master Group. Okay. 
did Mr. Master not want to follow in his parents' footsteps? Monsieur Master... Oh, Mr. Master wanted to bring joy to people with his desserts. His parents also wanted him to become a great pastry chef and supported him. When his parents died, the recipe book was left to him as his inheritance. Why would he give away a memento of his parents as a prize in the contest? There was always people who were after it, something which troubled Mr. Master. But just giving away the memento would have been disrespectful to his parents. So, he decided to pass it over to someone he acknowledged. And the members of the Master Group approved of that? Information about new drugs being passed on to outsiders. Of course they objected. That's why Dulcia participated in the contest. On the order of the Master Group, she was requested to win the championship. You knew Dulcia's true identity from the start? Yes, in order for her to win, I told her Monsieur Master's tastes and preferences. Why did you help her? I helped her in order to protect Monsieur Master and the Master Group. If the drug recipes were given to another company, he would be reprimanded by the board. I wanted to return the recipes to the company in a way that Monsieur Master would accept. So it was due to Miss Hall's help that Delicia was able to reach the finals. Speaking of which, Mr. Dover wasn't a pastry chef either. He sure did well to make, make it to the finals, considering he's just a sculptor. And he had big debts, and he could sell the, re the recipes for a lot of money. Yes, for him to be able to make such fine desserts despite being a sculptor. From the Sherbert sculptures he made for the finals, it's clear to see he has great talent, but... Could he really have made that by himself? That is all I know. Is there anything else I can do to help? To save Mr. Master, she's trying to help as much as she can. Maybe perhaps have some more of that tea from yesterday, please, Miss Hall. I'm sure that would help us get on with the investigation. Yeah, I'd like some of Kate's tea too. Right, understood. I'll be back in a minute. two years but this game always makes me sus with its fucking age differences Kate looks a bit better now I think it's mostly starstruck like oh she's, she's on the show but I, if there's one thing I don't trust Ace Attorney with it's to not be creepy about its relationships between younger women and older men <clears throat> Okay, I wasn't, maybe, maybe it was different. What else do I need to investigate? I mean, a harp and some maracas are lined up here. They're so exquisitely crafted, I can't, I can't tell from the look of them if they're sweets or the real thing. I'd like to touch them, but that would go against the rule of preserving the crime scene. Keep your hands off them. I already checked. They're real instruments. But if you can't tell by looking, how did you know they were real without touching them? Indeed, I didn't touch them. Not with my hands, that is. Surely not. No, I'm overthinking it. <laughs> did he fucking b bite the instruments? Oh my god. Investigation is underway. Only authorized personnel be on this point. On the night. Authorized personnel. Sorry, authorized personnel prohibited too. I guess that means no one can enter. Are these Von Kama's orders? I can't stand that guy. Everybody say the same thing. Yep. Yep. Alright, what am I fucking missing? I mean, I didn't look at the snowman. Do you need me to look at the snowman? This Delicia's room. The snowman here is rather eye-catching. It's made from powdered sugar. Oh, powdered sugar, huh? He's staring at it quite intently. <laughs> I hope he's not thinking of sneaking a taste. This is a lot of powdered sugar. It's 
Christmas tree made of table sugar. Thanks to these decorations, this place is on red alert. What? If even a single ant made it inside, oh, it would be terrible. Yes, this place does sound like an ant nightmare. I was trying to, yeah, an ant nightmare hellscape. Indeed, if ants got in, it would be disastrous. There's not a way to like just keep ants. Ants will do whatever they feel like, whenever they feel like. Can I talk to you? What are you investigating exactly? Sir, I'm testing the water in the fountain for foreign matter, sir. Have you found anything? Seems there's both chocolate and sugar mixed in with the fountain water. What? Why are you talking about your house, the ant nightmare? My house was up until recently an ant nightmare as well. And the only thing to help is my parents paying for an exterminator to come out and spray like five or six different times. It literally took like over two months to get it fixed. Not just the chocolate from Jeff Master's room. And the sherbet that melted in Isaac Dover's room. They all share the same composition. The fountain water circulates the streams that flow from each of the four rooms. Perhaps the melted sherbet flowed into the fountain. Have you gotten any of those little raid traps? They're like, I don't know, like little white traps. I don't know that they're raid brand, but something. But they basically have food in them that's poison. So the like ants come in and they take the food and they take it back to their colonies and then it kills them all. Okay. Sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. Oh, they helped a lot? Okay, that's good. Ants are hard to like fully get rid of, but I'm glad that they helped. Also, also someone's blood was de detected as well. So get them sometimes, okay. What are you saying? How could there have been blood in the fountain? Detective Bad, please think back to our investigation of the crime scene. Detective Bad, okay. Blood stain that should remain at the crime scene has disappeared. Oh. I definitely didn't get any reports about blood stain being cleaned up. They dump the lake. The body disappeared from the crimes. The blood. <laughs> the body. The blood disappeared. Also, part of the treasure chest was missing, too. Perhaps the blood in the fountain belongs to this person. Uh, the only dead person. Hmm. The victim. Let's run a comparison with the blood on the murder weapon. Nailer, where you play more Tears of the Kingdom. I feel like, I feel as if I have to say it again, but Papa Edward. <laughs> yes, he is. He's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, enjoy Tears of the Kingdom. I'm excited to talk about it with you guys once everybody is like in it and further. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your lurks. Thank you so much for lurking. I love you. Um, it's a match for Dover. I wonder why the criminal spilled the victim's blood into the fountain. Okay. Found in the water by absent from the crime scene. Beautiful. We got that information about all the contestants. Yeah, we still haven't heard from her Gustavia side of the story. Mm-hmm. Just saw this. I don't want to read it again. Fuck off, Karma. What exactly is he doing in Mr. Dover's room? What was he doing? Moreover, something is odd about his semi-final entry. A pastry chef bad at design and a sculptor skilled on on only at designing. It would have been extremely difficult for either of them to win the contest alone. Oh. Could it be that Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's connection is... Detective Bad. We have reason to suspect the actions of Dane Gustavia. Yeah. It is imperative we find a way to contact him at once. Oh. This conversation is most interesting. Who the fuck is this? I hate him! 
I hate this man. However, I cannot allow you to speak with Mr. Gustavia. Von Karma. I've already conducted my interrogation of him. It is not necessary for him to speak any further, especially to a mere defense attorney. But I will answer your questions in that fool's place. It seems Von Karma intends to prevent me from meeting Gustavia in person. I understand. In that case, I have but one thing to ask you. Yes. I would like to know the relationship between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. Oh, here we go. Their connection. Gustavia and Dover's relationship? It's obvious the only relationship they had was that they happened to participate in the same contest. <laughs> Fuck no. That's it? Hmm. There is nothing more to say. What? How are we supposed to understand anything from so little? We want Bob Karma to divulge the truth. We have no choice but to present evidence. It's all too obvious that he's hiding something. <clears throat> I've like completely dropped his voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally only one. Oh, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. Ba 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 ba. Abduction. Prosecutor Von Karma, I'd like you to look at these desserts. The desserts were made for the contest semifinals. Don't you think these two have a particularly impressive design? Just what are you getting at? These two desserts were made by Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. I wouldn't exactly call Mr. Gustavi's design skills praiseworthy. And yet, at the semifinals, he was able to produce something comparable to Mr. Dover's. Furthermore, these two desserts have the exact same flavor. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> I'm saying it's possible they collaborated with each other on their entries. Prosecutor Von Karma, please take a closer look at their desserts. At first glance, they may look completely different, but they don't. <laughs> but even though the designs are different, it's clear they are made from the same materials. Is that so? The same flavor and comp composition. It's impossible to dismiss their similarity as coincidence. The very existence of these two desserts points to a link between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. Hmm. Since you already know this much, I'll tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. Which you should have told us in the first place. But I digress. Did Mr. Von Karman know about their collaboration? However, what I'm about to say is not going to help your case at all. <clears throat> sure it won't. Bitch. Their real connection. If you want to know about Gustavia and Dover's connection so badly, I'll tell you. Last night, when I interrogated Gustavia, he told me about his connection with Dover. Okay, get to the fucking point! Until the day before the finals, they worked on their desserts together. Okay. You knew about their cooperation at this time, didn't you? Why would you conceal the truth? Objection. I would appreciate if you didn't sully my reputation. <clears throat> He's about to do much more than sell your reputation. Shall I explain my point in court? I avoid giving away unnecessary details. You know it's the law that you have to share any evidence that you've collected with the defense attorney and like vice versa. Like you have to legally share that so there's no surprises. I hate this man so much. I was merely saving you time. Can he act like this and keep the truth from us? His concealment of the truth is something I cannot ignore. <clears throat> Rebuttal. I hate that I have to sit through its scrolling to get to the third one where he actually says something. Um, I maybe I just have to press. Why do you think Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover collaborated? 
why? Because Gustavia had poor design sense. Dover was a novice at baking. Without the help of each other, they would never have made it through a single round. If so, what was their mutual goal? Why cooperate until the finals? The finals would be fought on our own merits, Gustavia said, and he ended their collaboration. Did he though? Did he though? I don't know. Gustavia's goal was to obtain the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. <clears throat> it seems his pride as a pastry chef won out in the end. Victory in the finals would certainly have been hollow had he cheated. <clears throat> so he believes that the cooperation only went as far as the semifinals. But what if it really continued through the finals? Prosecutor Von Karma, could you explain the cooperation in a little more detail? Very well. Why? Because Gustavia had poor design sense and Dover was a novice at baking. The cooperation lasted only through the semifinals. For the finals, they were on their own. Okay. I mean, obviously not. No. No. This was my first thought, but like, this doesn't, this just, this doesn't prove anything. No. 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 This is missing. Whatever this is. That is a long way to unhook this this cord and then pull it all the way over here. That's not something you do on accident. So the soda was most delicious, but the layer part was very salty. the the strings but nothing else Maybe, okay, maybe I need to present it to the other statement. Okay, shut up. Ray, I know I clicked to the wrong thing. I get it. I fucked up. So let me just take me back to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Let me try again. There we fucking go. Say that Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dober did not collaborate during the finals. That's strange. <coughs> Delicia testified that Dover's sherbet was the most delicious. Being a novice chef, I doubt he could have done that all by himself. Perhaps the two of them co cooperated during the finals as well. Defense attorney, how many times do I have to tell you? Delicia scones is some subjective opinion cannot be admitted as evidence. There's still a chance that a novice chef could make something tasty. 
My wife is an amateur. Yet her cooking rivals that of world-class chefs. How is that not a subjective opinion? Moreover, even if you take his, this pharmacist's testimony to be true, it changes nothing. She also mentioned that a part of her sherbet was very salty. Somehow, sitting at my desk, I got, I hit 5,000 steps. Um, I have a hangnail that's killing me. Which means you can hardly call his entry for the finals perfect. I mean, okay, so what? What, no more objections? Is there no way I can prove their collaboration? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something that's been bugging me. Hmm, what is it? The desserts Mr. Dover made for the finals would have taken a long time to make, right? Indeed, they were frozen sculptures after all. How would he have had the time to sculpt it after it was frozen? Let alone help Mr. Gustavia with his design as well. The way I see it, just waiting for the sherbet to freeze would have used up all his time. Hmm. Just how is he able to make those sherbet sculptures? Raymond, you may have a promising future after all. Thanks, thanks to you, I've noticed one more possibility. Oh god, I hate when he eats it. That's right. Mr. Dover Sherbert needed time to freeze properly. And the contest time limit would not have been enough. The method Mr. Dover used to make a Sherbert within the time limit was... It was prepared and advanced. Uh, it's... Obviously it was desserts because people ate it. <clears throat> the sherbet was prepared in advance. All he needed to do was sculpt it. You, just what are you mumbling about? Please excuse me. I finally realized your earlier view was correct. Huh? M Mr. Edgeworth? What are you doing? Oh, so you're finally admitting defeat. No. All I'm admitting to is the truth of one of your statements. Dover and Gustavia's collaboration lasted only until the day before the finals. It is exactly as you said. They only cooperated until the day before the finals. <clears throat> the sculptures in Mr. Dover's room are all made out of sherbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavi prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. So you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the finals. Then, why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavi in return? The views of the dead are no concern to me. <clears throat> If you aren't going to answer that, I'll need to get in touch with Mr. Gustavia himself. Or was your interrogation not quite as thorough as you claim? You ingrate. You dare mock me. That was not my intention, but I do have a problem with your attitude. I want you to give us a clear reason why we can't speak to Mr. Gustavia in person. A clear reason? Gustavia and Dover's collaboration has no bearing on this case. You claim their collaboration is irrelevant? If Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour, it could serve as a motive for murder. You're saying that Gustavia and Dover's collaboration was linked to the motive for the murder? If that were the case, why did he not conceal it? After all, we found out about his collaboration from Gustavia himself. If you really are a lawyer, show us evidence that gives us reason to suspect Gustavia. Only one of Mr. Gustavia's actions has been suspicious so far. Doubtless Von Karma already knows of this fact. This could be a trap by Von Karma. Hmm. What's wrong, defense attorney? Not going to answer. His is the only one we haven't seen so far. His dessert. But I mustn't back down now. Mr. Gudav Gustavia snuck, sneaked into Mr. Dover's room. His reasons for this are currently unclear. 
but the very fact that he secretly entered the victim's room is reason enough to suspect him. Tisk tisk tisk. If that's the extent of it, I can dispel those doubts. I knew it. Was it was it a trap after all? I was intending to save this for the courtroom, but I'll make a special exception. We wouldn't want to prolong the trial with unnecessary information, would we? Take a look at this. This is... What is this? Are they married? <laughs> Are they get a couple? This is a photo of Gustavia and Dover. And their sons. That they had together? No. <laughs> family photo. Maybe it said family singular? Were they... <laughs> Were they in a relationship? Xavier entered Dover's room in order to steal this photo. Why? To steal the photo? It seems their sons attended the same elementary school. Alright. I knew it was going to be that, but also, one can dream. Apparently, he thought that he'd been, be suspected if people found out he and Dover were acquainted. Yes. Just like you're doing now. There's nothing suspicious about Gustavia's actions. No further room for argument. Some the, they react too dramatically to just like the stupidest statements you ever heard. Like I would have just been like, "Fuck you!" There's something you're not telling me because I don't trust you as far as I could throw you. He's still adamant on not letting us meet with Mr. Gustavia. I have an investigation to return to. I have no more time to waste on the likes of you. Curse that Von Karma, calling us a waste of time. What should we do, Mr. Edgeworth? At this rate, Master Jeff will be... Von Karma is... busy? Of course. Why would he be so busy? Both the body and the murder weapon have been found, and he already has a suspect. The police should have more than enough evidence to prove Mr. Master's guilt. If that's the case, then why is Von Karma still investigating the crime scene? Mr. Edgeworth, is something wrong? Seems I've been overlooking a matter of vital importance. Considering he already has the evidence he needs to convict Mr. Master, I feel that Von Karma isn't as composed as he should be. He didn't even tell Detective Bad the full results of the investigation. Yeah. Von Karma is a bit on edge at the moment. He still hasn't received the autopsy report. Oh. Okay. Furthermore, something vanished from the crime scene and we still don't know why. The blood. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna show, show this again. The blood stain. That should have remained at the has disappeared. Okay. Maybe the blood was mixed with someone else's blood. But the strangest thing we found wasn't in Mr. Master's room at all. The blood in the fountain is Dover's. Right, okay. Mr. Dover's blood vanished from Mr. Master's room and somehow found his way into the fountain. What does this mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Although the victim's blood wasn't found in Mr. Master's room, it wasn't detected in the water fountain. There would be no need for the killer to conceal the bloodstains after the body was found. It's unnatural that only the bloodstains that were found with the body disappeared. Unless the body was moved, the blood would have still remained on the chocolate. Don't tell me someone removed the body and then erased the bloodstains. Okay. Awesome. 
I don't know, I'm just hearing shit outside. But I can't really see because it's blinds that we have our crap. It's possible the body was removed from the crime scene and the autopsy report still has not arrived. Although we have a murder weapon and a suspect, we don't know much about the body. I've been investigating under the assumption that the body had been discovered. What? Perhaps this assumption was wrong from the very beginning. What? Why didn't Von Karma give Detective Bad the autopsy report? To understand that, yes, I must turn my logic around. My thinking shouldn't be why is Von Karma hiding information about the body, but rather what if Von Karma doesn't even have the information to begin with? What happens if I think of it like that? It's possible the body wasn't removed by the police for autopsy. It was moved and hidden by the real killer. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth? I've heard many dark rumors surrounding Von Karma. He's a prosecutor who forges evidence, fabricates testimonies, and makes backroom deals. Yeah, I've heard that too, but what does that have to do with this? I try to avoid judging others based on rumors. And I didn't let those rumors influence my opinion on Von Karma until today. It seems he is a man who would distort the truth. Distort the truth? You don't mean forgery. I do. Okay. And I can't allow him to get away with this. I don't fully know how we've come to this conclusion. I must return, must return to the prosecutor's office for now. Not a word to that attorney. Roger. Oh. I love his little spin he did. What do you want, defense attorney? <clears throat> I want to know the truth that you've been hiding. Fool, are you trying to mislead the police investigation again? If you interfere with the investigation anymore, I'll be forced to reprimand you myself. Objection. Police. No. My objection is with you. What? Isn't it a prosecutor's job to ensure justice for criminals? Hmm. What are you saying? I have no time to debate the job of a prosecutor with you. However, I will tell you one thing. My job is to ensure all these, those pro I prosecute are found guilty. For the perfect proof, there can be no room for doubt. And to find that perfect proof, you would even stoop to forgery? Ha! I was wondering what you were going on about. You intend to accuse me of forgery, don't you? Yes. And it's for that reason you did not allow Detective Bad to investigate. What do you mean? The real reason Detective Bad wasn't investigating was not so he could keep an eye on us. It was to hide the fact that you never found the body. What? They never found the body? Objection. You cretins, you will cease these ludicrous accusations. I will not tolerate any further insults. In that case, let us verify the body. If you do, we will have evidence that shows whether or not I'm right. The burden of proof falls on you, defense attorney. I have no reason to comply with your baseless conjecture. Objection. You must not have noticed it too. The lack of blood stain, or you must have noticed it too. The lack of blood stains at the crime scene. So why did the blood vanish? And more importantly, where did it go? Foolishness. Why would anyone erase just the blood in the chest that contained the body? Yes, that's exactly right. If the body had been found there, the disappearing bloodstains would have no meaning at all. However, what if the body was already gone? To erase the traces of the body to being there, one would have to get rid of the bloodstains as well. Why make such a fuss over these bloodstains? So that he put like a fake body? Seems like a trivial detail to me. Or are you saying that you can show me where those bloodstains went? In court, everything must be said with evidence. Isn't that right, Von Karma? 
In that case, I'll show you the evidence supporting my claim. Which piece of evidence shows where the bloodstains went? The fucking fountain. There. There were traces of the victim's blood found in the fountain. Traces of Mr. Master's chocolate were also found in this very fountain. In other words, the body was washed down the stream, which then flowed into the fountain. All of this points to only one possibility. After the body was removed, someone erased the blood stains. Von Karma, where was the body really found? If you really found the body, you should be able to answer. You, how, how do you know this information? How do you know the results of the water composition test on the fountain? Because I allowed them to investigate. Bad. Always a thorn in my side. From here on out, I will not allow you to associate any further with this case. Hmm. Not like you were letting me do much anyway. Von Karma, you still haven't answered my question. Or... Are you admitting to the fact that you didn't find the body after all? You say I never found the body? Where is your evidence? He's never going to confess. I have nothing further to say to you. Gregory Edgeworth, this matter will be decided in court. You see just how well your logic holds up. There. Von Karma... I know your methods are wrong. I promise without fail, I will expose the truth you've hidden. And you'll die doing it. Detective Bad, I'm sorry. Because of because you let me investigate that no, this was bound to happen. Sooner or later. This is also the first time. I've been restricted in my investigation. Your theory that they never found the body sounds pretty close to the mark. That I will make clear in court. Hey, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Right, okay. So they have we have the photo of the body in there, but when the police arrived, the body was gone. So they just like drew lines based on the picture. Okay. Going around pointing fingers. Like, this is how you get elevator graves, Daddy Edgeworth. No, Cody. Oh my god. This is... I. It is like, I enjoy playing this game, but I'm also watching a man go to his death. It's, it's, I'm watching a man do the right thing. But all the things that are going to end up in him being fucking murdered. Even though I'm no longer in charge of this case. Then, though I'm very sorry about this, I have one more favor to ask of you. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what are you guys whispering about? I want to know too. This will be my trump card in court. The information I've gathered up until now should be enough to prove Mr. Master's innocence. But, if all else fails, I'll have this ready. Your trump card? You'll see at the trial. Wow, I get to be at the trial too? Of course. You are my assistant, after all. I'll be an ace attorney too next year. Von Karma will never beat the two of us. Right. Although... I hope to clear Mr. Master's name before you become a lawyer. If Von Karma is to be my opponent, he'll want the trial ended in a day. That's right. We have to save Master Jeff as fast as we can. After all, this is you we're talking about. I'm sure you'll beat Von Karma. No, he won't. On the bright side, his death, his death helps Edgeworth and Phoenix realize how much they care about each other when they take down Von, Von Karma. You're right. But um, if he died, if he hadn't died, Edgeworth would have never left school. 
and they would have grown up in school together and remained best friends and f- they would be friends to lovers instead of estranged friends slash enemies to lovers <laughs> master jeff alone in a dark cell rested on false charges i must expose von karma's lies if i am to save him also how you doing cody i hope you're having a good friday wouldn't have been the flavorful little awkward <laughs> nerd we know and love. Flavorful? <coughs> <coughs> flavorful is a good word for it. He's definitely got some special seasoning in there. Back to present day. This is April 2nd. That's Uncle. all Uncle Ray knows about the IS-7 incident. So that's what happened in my father's last case. The truth of the IS-7 incident. What happened at the trial? Good. Meant to play more Tears of the Kingdom but fell asleep watching video essays on older horror games. It's a good way to fall asleep. I love that for you. In the end, Von Karma defeated us. Huh? So you couldn't prove Mr. Master's innocence? We had gathered plenty of evidence to prove it. But Von Karma was even more despicable than we thought. He was the prosecutor who would do anything for his guilty verdict. That's right. And he really did use any means necessary. Because of this, the trial dragged on for about a year until it finally reached a conclusion. I'll never forget that fateful day when the judgment was passed down. The 28th of December... It's April now, so it's been a little over 17 years. <laughs> oh, time flies. <clears throat> the 28th of December, 17 years ago. I was watching that from the gallery. I was watching from the gallery that day. Before the trial, your old man noticed that Mr. Master was acting strangely. He was at a breaking point, both mentally and physically. He wanted to be found guilty. No! Mr. Master didn't fake a confession, did he? Yeah. That was what Von Karma was aiming for from the start. <clears throat> when your old man tried to expose the fact that the body had not been found, Von Karma used the power of his police cronies to squash that argument. He even went as far as to prepare a fake autopsy report. Then, they made Mr. Master give a false testimony and confess to being an accomplice. With Mr. Master's confession, the situation quickly became dire. An accomplice? But your old man had that trump card up his sleeve. Was that the trump card he was talking to Detective Bad about? Yeah, that trump card was to be our insurance in case Mr. Master confessed. He had asked Detective Bad to have Mr. Master's interrogation was recorded. Detective Bad wanted to know the truth too, huh? After he was dropped from the investigation, he never stopped caring about the case. Even when he was involved with other large cases, he really was the definition of a true detective. Look at him! Handsome man. Defense presented the recording, which proved the confession was forced. Well, it seemed the detective in charge of the initial investigation and interrogation, Rip Lacer, took all the blame and was charged and dismissed. Rip Lacer? Replacer? I fucking hate these games! <laughs> Replacer? He fucking replaced bad... Still, at the trial, your old man exposed Von Karma's corruption, and Von Karma received his first penalty from the then chief prosecutor. The only penalty in his 40 years of prosecution. However, Mr. Master didn't want the trial to continue any longer, and the curtains closed on the trial that day with the verdict of guilty. 
My memory of that time is fuzzy, but I was also there, watching my father's final trial. And I think his final regret became my own. Your old man wanted a re retrial to prove Master's innocence, but he passed on before he could fulfill his wish. Literally that day, he was murdered that day. After getting entangled in another case, breaks my heart even now that I didn't return home with him that day. What's more, to blind myself from my own worthlessness. Uncle Ray put all his hatred on you as a traitor for being Bon Karma's pupil. Glad he's finally coming, like, coming to terms with that. Hopefully, like, apologizes. Thank you. I'm sorry. Where's his hat? Whose hat? Him? Who's holding it? Edward? He wasn't wearing it in court. Or like, Bon Karma, or Gregory, my god. Don't be. It's natural you would hate me. After I became a prosecutor, I was able to get Bon Karma to show me the case file. Yeah, he wasn't wearing his, like, overcoat and hat in court, Gregory. Mr. Master was found guilty for the murder of Isaac Dover. Huh? That's not right. Wasn't Mr. Master found guilty of being an accomplice? But this case file says guilty of murder. There shouldn't be anything unresolved in this case handled by Ma Manfred von Karma. Wait, can I take a look at that file? He had to hide his flair just as if he were more blinded. <laughs> I see him hide his hair. Looks like the charges have been rewritten. What? Look at this. Jeffrey Master 39, creator of dessert contest. Victim's body was found inside a dessert made by the suspect led to his arrest. In jail, he was diagnosed with hypogasia, which he was treated by medicine. After his confession, he was convicted as an accomplice to the murder. Accomplice to murder. This is a copy of the original case file I received from the courts. Okay. Jesus. What would the charge be altered? This file was given to you by Von Karma, right? Maybe he just didn't want you to know the truth, since you were Gregory's son. He would have wanted to avoid another retrial before the statute of limitations ran out after all. So what I had come to believe back then had all been a lie. If you didn't know about it, just make sure you know about it from now on. The statute of limitations is long expired, but the truth still sleeps right here. After your old man passed away, Uncle Ray took over as Mr. Master's defense attorney. Although, Von Karma also had another prosecutor take over the case. Perhaps he thought that since his opponent was a rookie, he didn't even need to turn up. <clears throat> In the end, the real killer was never found. Mr. Master was found guilty. No! Is there nothing we can do even now? Why was he found as an accomplice instead of... Interesting. Maybe they just couldn't prove he actually killed them, so they made, like, an accomplished charge? Since the killer was never found, he can't withdraw his confession. I found out after the trial that Mr. Master made a deal with Von Karma because Von Karma had, been, had threatened him. Jesus Christ. If you don't confess, Catherine Hall will be held under the same charges. That's terrible! I don't think Mr. Master really thought that Kate was the killer, but... To protect her, he faked a confession. Miles. On the day that Nightly Boy was killed, why do you think Uncle Ray was at the prison? <clears throat> ah, I see. You went to see Mr. Master, didn't you? He said I'd visit him every day. I couldn't keep that promise, but... I asked Katie Pie to look in on him for me while I, when I couldn't. Through rain or snow, she went. 
every single day without fail, but nothing has changed, and Mr. Master still serves his punishment. That's so sad. Isn't there anything we can do? That's why I came here. Because I knew those ice sculptures would be on display here today. So, what are you going to do, Miles? I am a prosecutor. My position is different from you and my father. Miles. But, moving past my position, what I want as Miles Edgeworth is to know the truth of these two cases. It is for that reason that I am here. You really are your father's son. Well then, if that's what you've decided, I support you all the way. I'd better leave this IS-7 documents and evidence with you then. All right, here are the documents. By the way, the part in orange are Uncle Ray's old notes. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. And now, here's the IS-7 evidence. There's a lot, so make sure to look over it while you investigate. Received a lot of IS evidence. evidence. Hmm. Right. I'll check through it later. I'll check through it now. What? Time of death. 2018 years ago. It's 2018, guys! Uh, murder weapon box. All those statute of limitations ran out December twenty third, three years ago. Because the victim's body vanished, there appears to be no autopsy report. Is that the true reason? Okay. So what is the evidence that I received? Because this is all from this case. Is it just these four items? That is not a lot of evidence. It's just a couple of pieces. I was expecting like eight. Like a whole screen's worth of evidence. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, there's so many strange things about this case. Indeed. Those involved in the case 18 years ago have reunited. And another incident occurs. Replicas of the statues from 18 years ago were displayed at the Winter Palace, and <clears throat> poison gas was released in the Autumn Palace, which has been di disguised as the Winter Palace. Why? The two chemicals in the Pisces case, Normalium and Fatalium, were mixed, causing an outbreak of poison gas. I'm gonna get another to be continued. The victim of the poison gas was Dane Gustavia, a person involved in the IS-7 incident. Because he was unconscious, he received treatment in the Zodiac Art Gallery's infirmary. Finally, a dead body found floating in the fountain. And once again, the ice sculptures have melted. There are deep connections between the two cases. It's possible there are still some clues left from 18 years ago. Right, let's get started. Objection. Just once, just one second. Don't tell me you've forgotten about me. Sorry, Keiichi. It's from back in the early days. We made a whole case out of two sticks and a rock back then. <laughs> I'm gonna clean my piercings tonight. Like, really well. I mean, I did clean them well last night, but... It's been a day. Oh my god, where is it? It's really gentle. I got my ears pierced last weekend, Cody. If you're wondering why I'm being so ginger.
Didn't I tell you I'm the one in charge of this case? Prosecutor Edgeworth, you intend on continuing con to continue disrupting Sebastian's investigation. The word guilty will be added to your PIC record. Does she mean guilty? Please allow me to assist in your investigation as before. I appreciate your proposal, but I'm afraid I must overrule it. And that was fast. Even though we're short, ha short on hands to identify the victim right now, it's only a matter of time until we figure it out. In that case, I shall take that load off your shoulders at once. Regarding the identity of the unidentified body, one person comes to mind. Really? Then tell us. Was it... Was it fucking Isaac? Not just the sculptures that have made a comeback from the incident 18 years ago. Yeah, maybe he wasn't actually dead. The body in the fountain is... Where is he? I thought it looked suspiciously like Dover. It's likely the identity of the body is the victim of the murder that occurred here 18 years ago. Isaac Dover. Is Icy's body? Hey, who's that? I've never heard of him. Mr. Isaac Dover, a truly great sculptor, but he was better known as Pierre Hoquette. The sculptures on display here in the museum are all his creations. Ah, so in, in other words, that sculptor was the best. Somehow I feel strong kinship to him. And he was the victim in the IS-7 incident. She knew about the IS-7 incident. Well, of course she did. She's not stupid. Prosecutor Redgeworth, the IS-7 incident occurred 18 years ago. And what's more, the police reported the removal of the body. That's what's on the record, but I wonder if that really is the truth. What are you saying? The defense attorney in the I-7 incident claimed the body was never found. Not that the prosecution would ever admit to such a thing. We all know Volcano was dirty, like... Hello? Uh, really? Is something wrong, Sebastian? No, it's just they said they know who the victim is. It's just as that prosecutor says. It's Dover. No, it can't be. Hmm. It would seem my father's suspicions were correct. What is it, Judge Courtney? Have you finally realized that I'm much more helpful than Mr. DeBest? Hey, you! Are you trying to steal the best position for yourself? I'm doing no such thing. I just want to know the truth. And for that to happen, we need to cooperate, no? The truth is none of your concern. Objection. I don't think that's, the tr that's true, Courtney Pie. You again. Uncle Ray assisted the defense attorney involved in the IS-7 incident. The one who claimed that Mr. Dover's body was never found. The prosecution denied it at the time, but now the body has been discovered here. In other words, the I-7 investigation was unjust. And isn't it the duty of the PIC to investigate corrupt prosecutors? Uh, then, wouldn't you want to cooperate with those who were involved in the case? Unless you have an ulterior motive. Now that I think about it, Judge Courtney knew about the IS-7 incident, so it would seem she really is here because of the PIC. Even if you're related to the incident, I don't see how Prosecutor Regworth is. He is the son of the attorney in that case, and a prosecutor taught by Von Karma himself. And what's more, he was in the audience at the IS-7 trial. I'm sure there are many points he can enlighten us on. Very well. I will allow you to cooperate. However, your investigation must not hinder the other investigators. The Winter Palace is currently being investigated, but the Fountain Patio patio is open to you. Oh my god. That's my Courtney Pie. Now we're talking. 
as thanks, I'll allow you to have a hug with Uncle Ray. God, he's a creep. I love him, but he's a creep. Overruled. I feel your cooperation isn't needed. I will have to ask you to leave. Understood. Ah, oh, isn't it great, Miles? Now we can start investigating. You really helped us there. Uncle Ray did it all for himself. Hmm. All right, Uncle Ray's gonna investigate you, so let me know if you figure something out. Got it. Right then. Okay, let's begin the investigation. Okay, let's do this thing. We still don't know where Mr. Dover's body and the Normalium were hidden. We don't have enough information to go on. You're right, our first priority is the Normalium. Well, normalium is used in washing detergents, paints, and the like. If I recall, it's a red liquid with min a minty aroma. Okay. Well, then let's get looking for that normalium. Okay. We covered the victim's body. Forensics are currently performing the autopsy. And what of the investigation of the fountain? The fountain is completely clear. You could cleanse both your heart and soul with it. The body was floating in this fountain just a moment ago, though. Interesting. It appears the body has already been recovered by the police. Why was the body of the victim from 18 years ago found floating in the fountain? Well, he obviously wasn't dead. I mean, wouldn't the body have gone on goopy after 18 years? What a good word. Goopy. I love that. I don't know if I would call it goopy. I would! That's such a good word choice! <laughs> Gone on goopy? Certainly would have required a special method to preserve the body. Yeah, I wonder if such a method even exists. Hey, Mr. Francis guy, any new information? Yes. Normalium and Fatalium have been detected in the fountain water. They must have, they must have flowed through the stream from the Autumn Palace to the fountain. You just said it was clean. Aside from the chemicals, we also found, found high levels of sugar. We're working hard on investigating it. Sugar in the fountain water? What could have caused that? I'm so confused and concerned. On the service card, Miss Hall has prepared her tea set. According to the pamphlet, the museum is also famous for its tea. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, somebody else is probably talking. It certainly has a flavorful, rich taste. Hmm. Seems this tea set was also made by Mr. Dover. Oh, so the tea set was made by the victim. Let's take a closer look. So this tea set was made by Isaac Dover. Fancy stuff, huh? Okay, I'd say this tea set is worth thousands of dollars. Please be careful with it. Uh... This tea set is such a treasure? Please don't look so excited. If I recall correctly, Miss Hall was a huge fan of Mr. Dover. Okay. Hey, Edgy! What is it? Be careful with that teapot! Why must I be warned by him of all people? Might have been Messiers. Messers. Would you care for some tea? Miss Hall. Uh, Katie. N no, I'm fine, thanks. Kay and Edgy, you guys have s can have some. Fifty-four. See that? It's fine. Anyway. Well, since you asked, we might as well take a short break. Certainly. Thanks for th thanks for the tea. Wow, it's so tasty. What kind of tea is this, Mr. Edgeworth? It's Ceylon tea, known for its citrus aroma. However, Miss Hall, is this the same tea you served us this morning? 
Yes, that's right. Was it not to your liking? No, it's not that. The tea we had this morning had a slightly different aroma. Oh god, it had mint in it. It had the stuff in it. How strange. This is the same Ceylon tea I served this morning. There shouldn't be anything different about it. What's wrong with you, Edgy? Quit nitpicking about the tea Katie so kindly prepared for you. Larry, what are you getting so upset about? I, I'm not upset. You're just being a rude jerk. He's not, but okay. And I told you to call me Larice. Sheesh, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. It's like arguing with a child. Larice, I wonder what's wrong. I'd like to ask him that later myself. And I also need to speak with Miss Hall. I don't have any evidence that shows she is the culprit, but I dare say she's the one who set up the poison gas trap. I'm gonna do a little logic. Cause, uh... That was a different sound. Okay. Leave me alone. They're connected. I swear to God. It's just gonna be... I need one other little piece of shit. Hmm? This lift trolley has been just left here. I wonder if it was used recently to carry something heavy. The surface of the platform appears to be wet. Hmm? I remember seeing this lift trolley someplace before. You mean during the IS-7 incident? That's right, I remember now. It was in Dover's room. We never s Okay, if I remember collect correctly, it was used to transport the ice sculptures. Oh yeah, there it is. The lift trolley is a feature that allows you to adjust the height and angle of the platform. With just one of these, a single person can move the sculptures all by themselves. Okay. The platform is wet. Wow, how convenient! I want one too! Why is there a lift trolley here? I guess that's something we'll need to think about. Yes. Could be related to the case. Okay. Where's fucking Larry? Talk to me, weirdo. Larry, tell me what you're hiding. You two, stop glaring at each other like that. I'm not glaring, Kay. I'm using my art artist's perspective. Edgy's the one who's glaring. Then if you know what's go good for you, you'll tell me what you're hiding right now. No way, dude. Didn't I just say I'm not talking to you anymore? Aren't you talking to me right now? F from now on. From now on, I'm definitely not talking to you anymore. They're like children. They need... These two need Phoenix to function. Like, they can't fucking stand each other. Hmm. I'm not going to get anywhere like this. Looks like I'll have to force it out of him. Are we doing... Ch no, not more chess! Okay, it's not chess. Larry, what are you hiding? Hmm? Oh, is this just the fucking same thing? Mr. Edgeworth, this isn't the time to be playing around, you know. I wasn't playing around. Still, it looks like Larice won't be talking anytime soon. He isn't going to talk to us willingly. I just have to force it. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I should continue investigating around the fountain patio. Okay. So I don't have what I need yet, basically. It's a statue of a brave warrior fighting a snake. Was this also made by Pierre Hoquet? It appears to be one of his early works, when he was enamored with fantasy and myth. The statue re represents his heroic resolution to oppose hopeless difficulties in his youth. The title is... The Math Test. <laughs> they are honestly the best of friends. Yes. They can't stand each other, but they're best friends. But that I, I still maintain they need Phoenix to properly function and not just fight the whole time. I know that feel I know that feeling all too well. I almost did Larry's voice. And I did the wrong voice there. Okay, hold on. Oh 
We itchy. All right, let's talk to Miss Hall. Where have you been until now? I was showing the remaining guests out and handing out complimentary gifts as an apology. Did Papa Edgeworth kick it? Um, yes. In that we are finished, I believe, with the flashback sequences and everything that led up to it. So, he is... He is dead. Um. Did you require my services? Yes. There are a few things I want to ask you about. If my suspicions are correct, she's the one who set up the poison gas trap. How exactly did you prepare the melted sculptures from 18 years ago? All my hot men never stick around. Hey, Lang showed up for like two seconds in the one case. He'll, he'll probably be back. He'll probably be back. My, so you know about what happened 18 years ago? It's because 18 years ago, I photographed Mr. Dover's sculptures. Using the photos as a base, I managed to create replicas. Replicas? The Zodiac sculptures had been an unfinished work, so I wanted to complete it somehow. Because I am the one who accidentally melted Mr. Dover's sculptures. You definitely didn't. You definitely didn't. And could you tell me why the Autumn Palace resembles the Winter Palace so much? Well, my apologies. Did they really look so alike? I think I may have gotten some of the decorations mixed up. She's obviously lying. But I haven't got gathered any evidence to prove that yet. Okay. Apparently this lift trolley was here 18 years ago. Yes, it has allowed me to move various things from other rooms into this one. I was, it was intended to carry heavy, heavy objects, but it has been quite useful for all sorts of things. I'm curious as to why the top of the lift trolley was wet when they examined it. Why don't you say that? That lift trolley, I wonder if it was used to move something that made it wet? Well, obviously, Edward. <laughs> why didn't you just ask her? Okay. Okay, why is Kay singing along with her? Alright. I probably need to investigate. Nope. What else do I need to investigate? I talked to the people that wanted me to talk to you, did I not? Oi, how's the investigation coming along? Have you found anything? Hoy, not quite actually. We haven't found any clues yet. You're doing it wrong. Hoy is only used when you're showing someone someone something. Also, yes, he is used to confirm. It's also a greeting. Eep is used when you're afraid. Fi is used when you don't like something. Hoy is used when you're call calling something. Someone. I don't know what is happening with that voice. I see. I didn't know it was that deep. Oi, oi, Mr. Edward, did you catch all that? Okay, be more serious. Yes, see? Can I go in these rooms? There's a fir tree in front of this door. That door leads to the Autumn Palace. Fir trees are winter trees, so this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then, why don't we paint it in autumn red? Okay, fir trees are green all year round. I knew that. <laughs> okay. On the shelf for trophies commemorating Isaac Dover's work as Pierre Hoquette. He truly was a first-rate artist. There's quite a number of trophies lined up here. Not what I meant to look at, but I remember you have some trophies too, Mr. Edgeworth. I would love to have some too. If only there was a contest for thieves. How about it, Mr. Edgeworth? We could hold one at the prosecutor's office. 
I don't mind you holding a contest, but all the participants would be arrested. I don't want to talk to him. You need a bit in my way if you stand here. I'm not going and move. Just do what you can over there. Don't say that. It's probably the best to just stand over there. The best you say. Okay, I'll go stand over there. So anything is fine as long as you add the best to it. I want... No, I don't want to look at the... I want to look at the fucking bush. The maple tree in front of this door. But that door leads to the Winter Palace. Maple trees are autumn trees, so this must have been placed here as a red herring. How about we freeze it to make it look like a maple tree in winter? Please don't complicate matters any further. Okay, I'm surprised that that's not evidence of some kind. Nope, I don't want to talk to Kay. Thank you so much. I love you, Kay, but... Hi, gnome! I heard it that time. Let us in! Let me in! Looks like the elevator's for authorized personnel only. How you doing? What do you think that was on the second floor? I heard it's the infirmary. Mr. Gustavia should be in there right now, receiving medical treatment. I sure hope he's okay. We still need to talk with him once he regains consciousness. There's nothing we can do until he recovers. For now, we should find something else to do. I'm trying. What else is there to look at? What else do I need to... Sculptures of a man with the face of a moon and a woman with the face of a sun. Man looks kind of gloomy, though. Let me just turn my volume down on my headphones. Were these also made by Pierre Hoquette? Yes, it seems he made these in his youth, when he was enthralled with the stars. The piece, the piece likens the relationship between the moon and the sun to something closer to home. The piece is entitled, My Parents. I think we know who wrote the pant wore the pants in that marriage. Okay. What am I missing? I don't want to examine every single fucking statue. And I don't think these are important. Do I have to present something to someone that I missed? is very annoying to make sure I leave my oh what the fuck is this totally missed that the smell and this color don't tell me this is a puddle of tea huh there's a piece of pottery in the middle of the puddle oh okay looks familiar I wonder what broke I think I recognize the design I should probably show this to that man and see what he has to say. That man? Larry? Did you fucking break a very expensive teacup or teapot? It's gotta be the teacup. That's what you're fucking hiding, is you broke the cup. Larry, take a look at this. Ugh, what's that? Larry, I've got a feeling that you're hiding, what you're hiding is related to the tea and this pottery shard. Uh, uh. Well, if you're not gonna talk to me, I can always hand the shard over to Judge Courtney. Wait, I'm trying to keep a clean image for Justy. I don't want her to see how I dirtied myself. I can't imagine what part of you can be considered clean, but if you don't want her to declare you guilty, I suggest you speak truthfully now. I, I got it. I'll tell you. I hate his music. It, that part makes me anxious. Larry, it's time that you confess what you've done. Uh, how can you be so cruel to your best friend? Hmm. The same way you can be so dishonest to your best friend. They are best friends. The besties. 
Well, you can stop glaring at me. I promise to tell the truth this time for sure. I just thought I'd pour Justy some tea, but my hand kind of slipped a bit and it broke. I accidentally broke the crazy expensive teapot. The butt strikes again. Why am I not surprised? Oh boy, you've really done it this time, Larisse. What should I do, Edgy? I, I, Katie will hate me. Crying to me about it won't solve anything. First, you should apologize to Miss Hall. <laughs> Is that so? My teapot was... Katie, I'm so sorry. I, I don't have any money, but I'll draw as many portraits of you as you like. Please kindly raise your head, monsieur. It is I who should apologize. I didn't notice that the broken shards. It's dangerous, so I'll tidy up the broken pieces. Allow me to take this piece from you as well. Wasn't this tea set one of Isaac Dover's works? I heard that was it is very important to you. Yes, but there's no use crying over spilt tea. Besides, I still have another one of those teapots left. Is she not as attached to Dover's work as she used to be? Katie, you're so kind. Oh, that other teapot you were talking about, is it the one in that cart? Yes, yes. Truth is, when I was trying to hide the broken shards, I looked under that cart, and I found a teapot that looked exactly the same, so I switched them. Interesting. Really? Yeah, everything's cool now. I took great care to make sure no one would break that pot. You don't brag about that when you were the one who broke it in the first place. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mind. Thank you for your consideration. Edgy, Katie's a really nice lady, isn't she? You should reflect on how you cause trouble for people like her. Okay, when I make it as big as an art, make it as big as, when I make it big as an artist, I'll donate paintings. In fact, I'll even welcome you as my own personal model. I think it'd be better if you just stopped causing trouble. I hope you haven't done anything else. Edgeworth, there's two more mainline games. He's gonna show up in them. I guarantee. I haven't, I just stood around sketching beauties. Sketching beauties? Hmm? If you're interested, I can let you take a peek. I guess even Mr. Edgeworth is interested in beauties. <laughs> he said, absolutely not. It's not like that. I'm gay and I hate women. I just thought it might be another one of his strange paintings. How dare you? I'm very confident in my work this time. Oh, I want to see too. Oh, I'm glad you're so honest about it, Kay. I'll get it ready, so come check it out later. I guess I'll have him show it to me later. <sighs> All right. About that sketch you mentioned just now. What? If you wanted to see my art, you should have been honest about it from the start. Look, here it is. Okay. Oh my god, what did she- what did she dump in the fucking- What is this? I already told you, it's a sketch of beauties. Ah, oh, but just to be clear, the beauties only refer to Justine Katie. That's rude. That other plump lady has nothing to do with that. So rude. Why'd you draw her on the same page? Well, I was taking a break from my still life painting when those beauties caught my eye. I guess I just drew them on the same page without thinking. So you're saying that the pictures on this page were each drawn separately? Huh? Oh yeah, I may have drawn them at different times. Why she just got, she's got sweets on her cart. By the way, there's a drawing of the beautiful little Miss K on another page. Wow, beautiful, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Larry, you drew this exactly as you saw it, correct? Well, yeah, even I can't draw what I can't see. I recreated the scene perfectly, even the delicate shades. Delicate shades, huh? Hmm. 
I don't want to admit it, but this picture might be of help to the investigation. Uh, cons of this sketch in the surface cart. Oh my god. Uh, it seems there's a contradiction between the two. I'll need to expose this contradiction using my powers of deduction. Could I borrow the sketch for a while? Sure, I could even sign it for you, if you like. I think I'll pass. Okay. Okay. What is she dumping in the fountain? And then... sketch done by our pseudo artist over there this sketch is really well done are you giving it to me as a commemorative gift no for the time being this is a valuable piece of evidence i see too bad to garner such a response from the museum curator that man must have some unexpected talent that's not what i okay hold on wait Container with Ceylon tea leaves in it. I've been exposed to sunlight and moisture. The container is airtight and made of tin. This should help preserve the quality of the tea leaves. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's not a single stain on this pure white tablecloth. Take hold of the edge and focus your mind. Then in one go, pull. Okay, I hope you're not planning to do anything bad. No, don't worry. Even if I failed, the tablecloth would just be dyed a nice black a la tea. The tablecloth looks better white. Please refrain from changing it. Wonder if I wonder about that. It might look better in another color. Like pink or blue. Or tea. Is this another? Is this supposed to be blue? Isn't it like? Go <sighs> give me a shot. It worked, Larry. There's something I want to ask you about your sketch. Huh? You want a lecture on sketching from the famed Professor Larisse, do ya? No. I just need to ask you something. The tablecloth in your sketch. Are you sure it was light blue? Yeah, my eyes never fail me. But the one in the service cart here is white, isn't it? Dude. You're always so busy thinking with just your head. That you miss the obvious. What's with that look on your face? When I drew that painting, I was using the cart with the tea set on it, remember? As I was tidying up the broken pottery shards. It's not something to be proud of. And right then, Katie came out of the Winter Palace. I had to hurry and hide the broken teapot so that she wouldn't notice it. That is a large pile of candy. Did you just say Miss Hall came out of the Winter Palace? That's right, but this time she was pushing another service cart. These have been switched. These have been swapped in this flashback. And the tablecloth was light blue, just like how I drew it. What did she do with that service cart? Beats me. She went into the Summer Palace with it, so I don't know. And when she came out, she was pushing the lift trolley. The lift trolley? When I called out to her, she was so surprised that she just left it there. She's so cute when she's shy. So 
second service cart and a lift trolley. Maybe there are two tea sets along with two service carts. We'll have to verify it with Miss Hall. Okay. But let's just add something I can talk to her about. Can can you can you let me talk? Hello. Is it true you keep two service carts on the premises? Y yes. Is there something wrong? Earlier I was looking at one of the sketches from that so-called artist and I noticed that he had drawn the cart's tablecloth light blue. Light blue? Are you sure you weren't mistaken, monsieur? I only ever use tablecloths that are pure white. That's true, the tablecloth here doesn't have a single spot on it. Yes, that's because I always change them immediately whenever they get dirty. Did Larry really get the color wrong then? What were you doing when the sketch was drawn? At the time, I was just doing my job as usual. And could you tell me exactly what you, that work entails? What were you doing when you were drawn in the sketch? From the looks of it, of the drawing, it doesn't seem like you were, or it doesn't seem like you, from the looks of the drawing, it doesn't seem like you were transporting the tea set. This is when I was delivering chocolates to all the people in the investigation. Yeah, I don't know what the... Because even in that sketch, it looks white. Unless you, like, really look at it. And you look at the miniature that has it, like, bright blue. It does. But this game lives on conje conjecture. This game series just throws you the most obscure shit. And then, like, whole arguments get hinged on it. Chocolates. I wish I could have got some, too. There's still a few left, so please eat these, then. I made them myself. It was possible they might not suit your taste. Woohoo! <laughs> thank you so much! Hmm. Thank you. Perhaps it's because she had them, had, had them in her pocket, but it looks like they've melted a bit. Okay. The sweet goodness. Hmm? I'm happy to hear you say that. The chocolates are a little misshapen, but I'm glad to get some sugar into my system. Although, they're a little too sweet for my taste. Like father, like son. Do you want cakes and sweets so bad? I'm so sorry, Nico. I'm so sorry. I really want ice cream. And chocolate. All right, now what? Can I show these to Larry? Earlier, Katie gave me some chocolate. Her hot gaze was enough to melt the chocolate. I can't. I can tell she totally. F she's totally fallen for me. If you're talking about the chocolate, Kay and I got some too. You know. What? That's so unfair, Edgy. Damn it, I'll just die now. I'm gonna drop dead on Valentine's Day, cursing all the couples in the world. It's fine if we just leave him like this. In time, melted chocolate cools down and hardens once more. When Valentine's Day comes, I'm sure this man's head will have cooled down as well. Okay. Fucking now what? Go talk to my uncle Miles how's the investigation going well little by little I'm beginning to see the entire truth behind this case oh that's good to hear Gray better not fall behind either okay I can talk to him this case seems to have a lot in common with the case 18 years ago I agree. The melted ice in the Winter Palace and the body of the victim from 18 years ago. I wonder why nobody ever noticed the body was missing after all this time. The only family Mr. Dover had was a young son. His son and Mr. Gustavia's son, who attended the same elementary school. Excuse me. After the case, they both went missing. The kids both went missing? Or the child... The son and Dover. Wait, what? They haven't been found yet? The children went missing? 
Hold up, you're telling me? I haven't heard any news about Mr. Kasavia's son being found. Oh my god! But as for Mr. Dover's son, he was found and his inheritance was delivered to him. Because of that, Mr. Dover never had a proper funeral. That way, they were able to make it look like the body had been in police custody. The autopsy report had also been forged, so nobody but the defense ever found out. On karma. You would go that far. Oh, it's Katie's chocolates. Uncle Ray really loves how sweet they are. Sweet flavor really goes well with the bitter coffee in the office. I see. Coffee would indeed go well with this. Mr. Master said that these were his favorites. I just wish I could paint over the bitter memories of that case with this sweet chocolate. Okay. I don't... I don't know what to do again. I don't feel like there's anything else I could ask him. Now I can use logic things. Okay. Maybe the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different was because the pots had been switched. Really? The taste of the tea itself did not actually change after all. Let's go ask Miss Hall about it in more detail. Miss Hall, was the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different because the pots were switched? Yes. That's certainly possible. It had a fresh minty aroma, not unlike that of uva tea. Ah, oh, I remember now. I prepared some mint tea yesterday. No, you didn't. It's exactly what I thought earlier. Sure that the aroma just happened to remain in the teapot. No. Is that really all there is to it? Absolutely not. Fuck you. The minty aroma was emanating from the pot Larry had replaced. Miss Hall said the aroma was left over from the mint tea she prepared yesterday. Indeed. She seemed less surprised to find out that Larry broke the teapot. More surprised by the fact that the pot's been switched. That's right. Normally it would have been the reverse. A broken teapot is much more shocking. He's probably trying to hide this teapot. Hide the pot? One of the characteristics of Normalium is a minty aroma. There is a possibility that she was hiding Normalium inside this teapot. What? But inside the pot? It's only po a possibility for now. But it's one worth investigating. Mr. The Best, I assume you haven't found the Normalium yet. Huh? Uh Oh! I've had the entire art museum searched, but haven't received any reports yet. What about you? Don't you have any ideas? Only one. I knew it. Nobody but me would be able to find it. Wait, what? You have an idea where it is? Indeed. Then tell me! It may have been in this teapot that Miss Hall had used. Oh, this teapot is pretty nice. It would make the perfect present for the best prosecutor. It's not a present. It's an important piece of evidence. Oh, it's just evidence. Then I guess I'll have forensics take a look at it. Mr. Edgeworth. 
Is there something wrong with the teapot I used? This teapot has a minty aroma to it. The same aroma as the one one of the two chemicals used to create the poison gas. Monsieur Edgeworth, surely you don't mean. You suspect me of having set off the poison gas. I do. Setting up the poison gas trap in the Autumn Palace would have required some pr preparation. As the curator of this museum, you're the only one who could have prepared it in advance. I wonder about that. Preparations for the opening of the museum took about a week. And I received help from both outsiders and Madame Delicia. I think there are people besides me who are also suspects. Suspicious. Of course, Delicia is also under scrutiny. Furthermore, I don't even know how to create something like poison gas. Even if you found normalium in my teapot. There's no way I could have prepared the poison gas. Well then, I look forward to hearing the analysis results of the teapot. Her excuse is that she doesn't know how to prepare the poison gas. I must find a way to shatter that excuse. This is Edgeworth. I want to check something really quick. Okay. It's Gumshoe, so. Something happened. Actually, right now, all the investigators. Right now, all the investigators but me have left the Winter Palace. We can finally tell you what we found. It's not good for a detective to be leaking out information about the investigation, but his resourcefulness has saved me many times these past few days. All the sculptures in the Winter Palace have melted. There's still some liquid left in the cases, but... There's less in the Gemini case than the Taurus case. There's still liquid in the glass cases? Yes, sir. We just investigated the light blue liquid a moment ago. We only detected sugar in the Taurus one, but... For some reason in the Gemini case, we detected three different substances. Three substances? They consisted of sugar, salt, and blood. Blood? Blood and salt were detected in the Gemini case. I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've, been at, I've asked forensics to look into it, so. Right. I'll leave it to you, detective. That reminds me. The forensics investigation investigated the fountain patio contacted me. Seems the sugar found in the fountain matches the fat found in the light blue liquid. Oh, that sounds like valuable information. Okay. Okay. Is that all the new information you have for me? Ah, uh, now that you mention it, we found a rainbow light device in here too. That's the thing that was missing in the two pictures. The device was used to disguise the Autumn Palace. It seems the device that was used in the IS-7 incident is also connected to this one. I should listen to what Delicia has to say about that. I have to go back to investigating now, so. When we get the results from the blood tests, I'll let you know right away. Oh, that's the thing that, like, changes those sheets into different colors. Yes, thank you, detective. Was that Gummy calling? That sure was a long call. Hmm. But thanks to him, we now have an important piece of information. In order to break Miss Hall's alibi, I'll need to talk to everyone involved in the IS-7 incident. Delicia, would you be willing to aid in the investigation? Yes, see, of course. Anything from Millie and Miley and Kay Faye? I'll listen to whatever you have to say. This is not her voice or her accent. I was wondering if you could stop calling me Miley. And stop calling me Kefe. Fine, that's out of the question. I can't already change a name I've already... I can't change, just change a name I've already decided on. Even if we ask her, she won't listen to what we have to say at all. Okay. Do you know anything about the decorations that are used in this museum? Specifically, the fluorescent cloths and a special device called a rainbow light device. 
Yeah, see, of course I do. This is not the voice. Of, co of course, I of course I do. Because they are presents I gave to Katie. As an apology for breaking the rules 18 years ago. I give her four new rock salt lamps. Rock salt lamps. And the four fluorescent cloths I used in the contest. This is so bad. I had it and then I lost it and I've lost it again. Wow, that sounds nice. Fluorescent, fluorescent cloths and rock salt lamps. Seems like only us girls can understand. This is, no. Understand how wonderful they are. That's a cruel thing to say, Miss Delicious. I like them too, you know. That was back when Ray Ray was still a cute little boy. Back when Mr. Shields was a cute little boy? Hmm. I can't even imagine that. Are they the same decorations you saw 18 years ago? Probably. The rock salt lamp, the cloth, and the rainbow light device. They all seem the same. Four fluorescent cloths were used in the Autumn Palace. But I have the feeling I saw more of the, one more of the same cloth. It's true. Look, I've got my proof right here in my bag. Oh yeah, she's, she's got one. Let's show Delicia. Let's show Delicia and have her confirm my suspicions. Wasn't there a dirty rag in your bag that looks similar to this? Fine, I'm not going to give you any information to someone who calls it a dirty rag. Then, would it be better if I called it a washcloth? Wrong again, it's a fluorescent cloth. Ah, oopsie. That was supposed to be a secret. Please, tell me all you know about this fluorescent cloth. Okay. I'd like to ask you something, since you're a pharmacist. Exactly how would one gain the knowledge required to set off poison gas? Oh, that's basic knowledge for any pharmacist acquainted with Megaton or Toxin X. It even says on the warning label, danger, do not mix with normalium. Then, is there another way for someone who isn't a pharmacist to obtain that information? Hmm, well, it might be possible if they've seen the Angel's Recipe. Recipe book that was grand, the grand prize of the contest 18 years ago. I knew it. That's why I was checking it before. And it's with one of the recipes. And it also contains a recipe to prepare Megatoxin X. Does this mean that you've also seen the contents of the angel's recipe? You see? That's a given, of course. The pharmaceutical company I work for is the master group. It's the company that makes Cold Killer X medicine. Cold Killer X. The cold medicine that promises to kill cold is good. After Jeffy got declared guilty, the company took back the recipe book. However, only a small group of elite pharmacists have been allowed to see it, though. So this woman is also a part of that small group of elite pharmacists. Please tell me the reason why you hid this cloth. Oh, I guess I have no choice. This is the cat's out of the bag. I found this cloth floating in the fountain. And right after that, I was called to the Autumn Palace. So that's the moment Larry captured this so-called sketch of beauties. At first, I thought one of the fluorescent cloths I'd given Katie had washed away. But didn't you only give four fluorescent cloths as a present to this museum? There were four fluorescent cloths covered, covering the sculptures in the Alton Palace, right? So that's when I realized that this was the cloth that went missing 18 years ago. Poison gas broke out because someone had stolen my Megatoxin X. So I thought the fluorescent cloth had also been used for the crime. I was afraid I'd be suspected, so I didn't say anything about it to anyone. I see. But I sure feel a lot better after talking about it. Stress isn't good for your figure after all. 18 years ago, the cloth that was wrapped around- This is quite the music to be looking at a body to that was wrapped around the body went missing. Who would have thought it would turn up in the fountain along with the body? Was the man alive this whole time? 
Okay. Why is it so difficult for me to talk to this woman? Unless I'm standing behind her like a creep. What kind of methods for medicine preparation are described in the angel's recipe? It contains many ways of preparation, so I can't explain them all in such a short time. Although, if you really want to know, I can tell you. It'll take about two hours, though. I can tell every one of them, tell you every one of them while matching the melody. What do we do? Listen to all of it? No, that won't be necessary. I really thought that's what it wanted me to do. Do I, have to, do I have to talk to somebody? I can't talk. Nobody else who was involved in the incident was here. Unless I gotta talk to my my man, my uncle. Oh, I can talk to him about Catherine Hall. Mr. Shields, could you tell me what kind of person Miss Hall is? Hmm? Miles, don't tell me. You are also interested in Katie. No. Well, all joking aside, all Uncle Ray can say is, the Kate I know is a truly admirable woman. For 18 years, she's always wanted to remain here and wait for Master's return. However, she was driven out of the mansion by Master's relatives. What? She was driven out of the mansion? That's because Kate isn't related by blood to Mr. Master. With no family and her job taken from her, she could only live on with the song and dance that Mr. Master had taught her. Well, she's now retired as a world-famous actress, though. Why did she retire? Because she had already saved up enough money to buy this mansion. Seems she even got back the angel's recipe that had been taken from the Master's group. Mm. This mansion, where she lived with Mr. Master, had been everything to her. She probably just wanted to take back everything that she'd lost. Seems that Mr. Shield sympathizes with Miss Hall. But you could also say that her actions have taken away everything Mr. Master had. Hmm. I love the angel's recipe because it contains a recipe for many miraculous medicines. Is there any medicine in particular that you're interested in? Uncle Ray? Not really. How about Kay? I love a medicine that made me a genius, or turn invisible, or give me the ability to fly. Aren't you expecting a little too much from a medicine? Okay. I thought that got updated. I don't think I have anything else in my logic, but Oh, it was a thing. It was this. Okay. I thought I got updated my evidence. I did not notice it was a logic. There we fucking go. The method used to set off the poison gas is explained in the angel's recipe. And the current owner of the angel's recipe is Miss Hall. So that means Indeed. It means that it, it is possible she knew how to set off the poison gas. With this, we can expose her lies for what they are. Boom! She's lying. Now, all that's left is to wait for the results of the teapot. Ow. To be continued. Oh my god. It's already... I've almost been going for four hours. And this isn't done! I think there's one more part left, though. I think it is the last part after this. Thank God. Just sitting here not doing anything wallowing in my cakelessness. Nico, I'm so sorry. I wish I could provide you cake. Let Nico eat cake. <laughs> I have a report. We've detected traces of normalium from the teapot. You can't be serious. It's just like Mr. Edgeworth said. When I could at least go to the gas station to get ice cream. I will someday. Hell yeah. I wish I could. My fucking car is broken. I'm not bitter. It's fine. 
I just don't know. I just don't know what happened. I've never had that happen to me before. Darn it, Mr. Edgeworth, take the takes the title of the best for me again. Mr. the best, it seems like you have an obsession about being the best. But when you're on a case, winning and losing is of no importance. <laughs> yeah, it's a short trip. It is quick, like 12 hours. You know. What's that? What is that for, uh, to, to, to someone? What do you say? Obviously, it's best to be the best at everything. If you can't understand that, then you have no business being a prosecutor. What? I... I I think it is like 12 hours. I, I mapped it out once. I think when I was looking at how far Carly was. Oh yeah, no, it'll definitely survive 12 hours. Absolutely. It's like flavored milk. <laughs> oh my God, warm flavored milk. Delicious. Please stop harassing Sebastian. Please stop harassing Sebastian. Sebastian, a person of your caliber has no need to listen to such things. Justine, yes, you're right. Please leave this to me. Why don't you go check on the victim's condition? Y yeah, that's a great idea. I'll be right back then. It's built different. You don't know how Wisconsin ice cream be. It's built different with hardy Wisconsin cows. It's this strong. If, one, if there's one thing that Pennsylvania and Wisconsin have in common, it's cows. So many cows. And milk and cheese. Maybe not as much cheese, but we make a lot of milk in Pennsylvania. Like, a lot of milk. Alright, I'll be waiting. Judge Courtney is much more troublesome than Mr. DeBest. Well then. Miss Curator. Can you tell us why Normalium was discovered in the teapot? I was not aware that it contained such a chemical. I suppose it may have been an ingredient from the detergent I had used. So you're saying that you do not put it in deliberately? No, of course not. There's no way for me to have known how to create this poison gas. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Despite being a former actress, it seems you're not very good at lying. What do you mean? You're sweating like a pig, my girl. The angel's recipe is in your possession. And the method to create the poison gas is contained inside that recipe book. So you must have known how to create it. I'm surprised you knew about that. Miss Curator, is that true? It's true. The information about the poison gas is contained in one of the recipes. However, just because I saw it does not mean that it, I was responsible for the crime. Could you tell me what could set off the poison gas? It was caused by the victim heating the lid of the glass case with a burner. Haha, <laughs> I see. If he locked himself in that room of his own will and then set off the poison gas, wouldn't that... I don't know why I said that so suggestively. Wouldn't that suggest suicide? Does she intend to deny it until the bitter end? Furthermore, I wouldn't have been able to obtain a chemical like Megatoxin X. That may be true, but you could have stolen it from someone else. That reminds me, I met up with Katie a week ago and... That night was when I realized my Megatoxin X was gone. Katie, you couldn't have... Madame Delicia always carried her medicine bag around with her. Anyone could have stolen it. That's right. I don't have any proof that she was the one who stole it. Kate, can't you tell us what you're hiding? I know you're not the kind of person who would hurt someone without a reason. Monsieur Shields, you doubt me as well. Setting a trap on one of the gallery's ex exhibits and then disguising the rooms? I just think it would have been impossible for anyone but the curator. That's not true. Why would you keep fucking toxin in your medicine bag? It is a great question. I think this character is just a fucking idiot. Like, she was just like, sometimes I forget to lock up the, my the dangerous toxins, but you know. There are no guards or security cameras at this gallery. If any ill-intended 
intentioned person wanted to sneak into the gallery. It would have been an easy task for them. Unless it was for the ants mentioned earlier. Then isn't it like an all-you-can-steal buffet in here? You have to be careful. You never know when a great thief could appear. <sighs> I'm gonna start sneezing. Something's up there tickling me. It doesn't sound like a joke when Kay says it. Actually, Mr. Gustavia apparently entered the gallery before it opened. Well, I'm beat. Looks like Uncle Ray can't do anything to break down Kate's iron guard. Hmm, this might be a good time to use that technique your old man taught me. The technique my father taught you? This case is deeply connected to the one from 18 years ago. If we just pursue the present case, it might seem like there's a lot we don't understand. But if we try turning things around, there might be a hint in the case from the past. Thinking the other way around. Did my father do that too? For example, just consider the relationship between the past case and Kate. Miss Hall melted Mr. Dover's sherbet culture 18 years ago. And today, Mr. Dover's works are on display in this gallery. Can't be. She... I see. Now I know what to ask her. I don't. <laughs> That's good to hear. In that case, Uncle Ray will just watch over you as, you're, as you do your work. Miss Ka Catherine Hall. 18 years ago, seems you melted Mr. Dover's sherbet sculptures. <sighs> yes, I was young and inexperienced and I did something inexcusable. However, isn't that why you were able to open the Zodiac Art Gallery? I don't know what you mean. I don't understand either. Prosecutor Edgeworth, do you seek her testimony? Yes, I would like to her to tell I would like her to tell me about the Zodiac Art Academy. Gallery. Academy. I'd like to know the reason you decided to open a gallery for Mr. Dover's artwork. If you insist if you insist this is related to the case at hand, I will allow it. Miss Curate, your testimony if you please. We might read it. Very well. That will clear your suspicions about me. Now then, please testify about the Zodiac Art Gallery. I do with always look so tired in those little strip things. He always looks like he's got bags under his eyes. 18 years after Mr. Master was arrested. The, like, Master being the last name throws me off. Because, like, I want that to be, like, Master blah blah blah. Master Yoda, you know. I was finally able to buy back this mansion. Then, in order to maintain it, I decided to manage it as an art gallery. I collected Pierre Hoquette's work from all over the world. How much money does this woman have from acting? After all, it was my dream to open the Zodiac Art Gallery. It's wonderful that your dream has come true. What do you think, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I don't believe there was anything strange about her testimony. Judge Courtney, I believe in the courtroom it is standard to cross-examine the witness. Wouldn't you agree it's a little too early to say that there are no contradictions? Hmm. You speak like a defense attorney. Very well. Proceed as you please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was it? Opening the Zodiac art, ga art Gallery was your dream? The truth is, I wanted to manage the gallery together with Mr. Master. Nope. Me and dancing in all kinds of suites. That's the kind of gal uh, gallery I dreamed about. Was she planning on staging a musical in here? Jeffrey Master disobeyed the goddess of law. No, he didn't. It's unfortunate, but I'm afraid your dream will never come to pass. No, Monsieur Master is innocent. The 
prosecutor at the time to not believe it, but... In order to protect Catherine Hall, Jeffrey Master gave a false confession. They were both trying to protect each other. The sculptures in the Winter Palace are the same Sherbert sculptures from 18 years ago. Unless I point out that out to her, I won't be able to find out the truth. Okay. Is this where it wants me to... What would I even present to that? This one? Probably. I don't know, we're just gonna try it. Nope. Nope. Maybe I gotta press this. Oh, shut up. I get it, I fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're just gonna press it instead. Are you managing this gallery by yourself? This was not the right one. Was it? No, this was not the right statement. We must continue protecting this mansion so that Monsieur Master has a place to return to. So she took back the mansion for Mr. Master's sake. Kate, I'm so sorry. I was powerless. It's not your fault, Monsieur Shields. I couldn't do anything either. All I can do now is continue to protect the mansion. This one. This is, yeah, 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 get, yes. Fucking Jesus Christ. Pierre Hoquette. That's Mr. Dover's alias, correct? Yes, it's the name he used when he worked as a sculptor in France. About collecting his works. How did you prepare the Taurus and Gemini sculptures? I heard that Mr. Dover passed away before he completed those two sculptures. I had the sculptures in the Winter Palace specially made based on the photos I took. Oh, could you tell us about that in more detail? Okay. Here we go. Prepared replicas of the statues. Oh my god! I'm just gonna press it, I guess. Come on, go through your stupid animation. I was wrong. I get it. I fucked up. Oh my god. I was on there. By photos, do you mean the ones taken in Isaac Dover's room? Yes. You seem quite familiar with the evidence from 18 years ago, Mr. Edgeworth. So the sculptures in the Winter Palace were, replica were replicas. They melted and I didn't even get to see them once. No, the Sherbert sculptures shouldn't have been replicas. Miss Hall is obviously lying. After all that trouble it took to prepare them, it's a shame they melted. The sculptures in the Winter Palace are the same Sherbert sculptures from 18 years ago. Unless I point that out to her, I won't. Okay. Oh, I did it again. Okay. It's something with this. Is this no it's obviously not that no no you canned pineapple fuck yeah grill it up make have some like grilled pineapples the best i mean grilled stick it in a frying pan with a little bit of sugar it gets all caramelized and delicious oh love it I 
was this again? Salt, sugar, and blood. Matched the life to liquid fat. Oh! Did you really think that your excuses would continue to hold up? No matter how much you lie, you can't deny the composition of the sculptures. From the analysis results, it's quite clear that the sculptures in the Winter Palace are the Sherbert sculptures Mr. Sculptures? Mr. Do Dover created. Oi, Miley! The pharmacist is my turn to shine. What we call sugar actually comes in many different varieties and tastes. Even if the sculptures were replicas, it's nearly impossible to replicate the composition. Uh, I see. Thank you for the explanation. Though I don't recall asking for one. Shut up, Miles. That, Miss Hall, means you couldn't have melted the Sherbert sculptures back then. You stole them and preserved them for 18 years. How? What? She preserved the Sherbert for 18 whole years? Hmm. You freeze it properly. It's not impossible. Silence, please. Miss Curator, what do you have to say? I can't believe you've already uncovered so much. So you're admitting that you stole the Sherbert sculptures? No, I cannot admit to such a thing. There isn't any proof that I stole them, after all. Also, I couldn't have stolen the sculptures 18 years ago. I don't think they would have been easy to steal without the police noticing. Hmm. Is that so? I don't know what you did 18 years ago. As such, how can I judge how difficult it would have been to steal them? Looks like you won't give up so easily. I don't intend on giving up until I learn the truth. I understand. Then I shall tell you what I did 18 years ago. On the day of the incident, I was waiting in the main building until the judging. During the judging, at Monsieur Master's request, I went to change the film in the camera. But before I could deliver the camera to him, I discovered Mr. Dover's body. After Mr. Monsieur Gregory arrived, I prepared tea for everyone involved in the investigation. It was then that I witnessed Mr. Gust Gustavia entering Mr. Dover's room. Hmm. That was everything I had done on that day. I don't think there's anything suspicious about my actions. I don't know about that, lady. Oops. Oh, I have a bruise all here from board breaking. And it's right on my wrist where it's leaning on my mouse pad. This shit tasty? Hell yeah. I don't think you can even see it. You can kind of see it. But, yeah. It's um, quite uncomfortable. <laughs> I have to make sure I have my wrist like flat instead of like kind of on the side like I want it to do. It's not your decision to make. It's healing fine. It's definitely just bruised. Um, every day it gets a little bit better. Yeah, it looks worse. Not washed out by the light. But it's basically just like this whole thing, and then, like, this part of my wrist. But it's definitely getting better. It's been almost a week now, so. Mr. Edgeworth, were there any contradictions in her testimony? And now I should just prove that she stole the sculptures. But what could, when could Miss Hall have stolen them? If I can answer that, her crime can come to light, should come to light. Film. Before I could deliver it to him, I discovered the body. After they arrived, I prepared tea for everyone. It was then you witnessed and came to the Did you do so in the same manner as today? Yes. I poured tea for everyone working at the investigation. Now that you mention it, Uncle Ray also got some tea from you that day. 
Kate was pushing her surface cart back and forth from the patio to the main building. I see. Did anything seem strange to you then? Hmm. Well, I remember your old man singing praises over Ceylon tea. And he also said something about how the saucer was chilled. The saucer was chilled? Could Miss Hall have stolen the sculptures then? Uh, uh yes. This is when you stole the Sherbert sculptures. I'm sorry, but Mr. Shields and company were at the fount fountain patio the entire time. Are you saying I stole them in broad daylight? That's precisely what I'm saying. I don't really understand. They would not have fit under there unless you turn them on their side and then they're gonna get squished in the back. I mean, duh. But like, I don't know, man. Neither my father nor Mr. Shields realized the sculpture was right in front of them. What you were pushing around was no ordinary service cart. It was the sculpture itself. But surely it would be impossible. If she had placed the sculpture on the service cart, people would notice immediately. Objection. Never said she used the service cart to move the sculptures. What? What do you mean? What did she use to move the sculptures around? That fucking wheelie cart thing. The, the, this thing and bob. Trolley. And this is. This is a lift trolley Mr. Dover used 18 years ago to move his Sherbert sculptures. It seems the same lift trolley lies here in the fountain patio. That's because it was originally prepared for the contest in the first place. Are you saying she used the lift to move the, move the sculptures? Yes. The It's Sherbert! It would crush the back! Even frozen solid! The sculptures were placed on this lift trolley, then covered with a tablecloth could be disguised as a service cart and move without arousing suspicion. How could that be? So the sauces were chilled because they were sitting on the ice sculptures? Kate, what's the meaning of this? What were you thinking? That was truly impressive. That was the wrong accent. You certainly are. Monsieur Gregory's son. After 18 years, it's hard to imagine any proof that I stole the sculptures remained. But I knew it was only a matter of time until I was suspected. Miss Curator, does that mean you admit to stealing the, the sculptures? I don't want to say that word wrong so badly. Yes, I admit it. 18 years ago, I stole the Sherbert sculptures from Monsieur Dover's room. Just as Mr. Edgeworth says, I disguised the lift trolley as a surface cart, and I served tea as I made my way back and forth. That wasn't all. I also took the ice block with all the star clusters on it. An ice block with star clusters on it. That seems familiar. A giant block of ice being displayed here. It appears to be quite heavy. No, the inside must be hollow. The Winter Palace is a reproduction of Mr. Dover's room from 18 years ago. Because they had melted, my father never got the chance to see them. But those blocks of ice were also originally from Dover's Sherbert Salon. The two sculptures and the two blocks of ice, I took everything I could. And then I placed the empty glass cases in Mr. Dover's room. The sculptures were all encased in, ice, in glass to produce their, preserve their fine details but the ice blocks were being displayed as they were. As per the rules, we prepared the glass cases for Mr. Dover. <clears throat> so it would have been easy for her to prepare the glass cases. In Mr. Dover's room, there were some sculptures that were still unfinished. 
I thought if I melted them, it would look like the ones I stole had melted too. Okay. So, everything you see in the Winter Palace are all original works from 18 years ago. Miss Hall, it didn't take much to get her to confess. And she must know. She must know it isn't enough to try her in court. That is all I have to say. But, even though I admit to stealing the sculptures, you can't arrest me for it. What? What do you mean by that? Heavens, you're assisting in an investigation without knowing this much. Perhaps you should read this book concerning the Statue of Limitations. Statue of Limitations? Okay. Sure. To put it simply, it's the time frame in which a suspect can be taken to court. You can see it on this page. Murder 15, theft 7 years. It's a- oh my god. I wanted to actually... The statute for limitation is murder for 15 years, and the theft is 7 years. Ah! That's right. Miss Hall's theft was 18 years ago. According to the statute, she cannot be arrested for stealing the sculptures. Hold on. There was like a lot of words on that page. Suspect flees to or live in a foreign country. The time limit is on hold until they return. Possible accomplices are on trial. The countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached, then resumes. Charges are pressed to demand compensation. The statute is frozen for the length of that period. Our procedure. So, the trial took a year. He was named as an accomplice later. Interesting. Okay, that's going to come back to play later. I just don't really know how. Like, I can't piece together exactly what they're trying to do because the timelines still don't match up because that only just adds a year and it's been 18 years. <laughs> so, like, it only makes it 17, but murder is still 15. So unless there's something funky that adds, takes away another two years from that, I guess it's been 17 years. We just need to add, take another year. Hmm. So that's how it is. Seeing evidence from a crime scene is an unforgivable offense. However, for this crime at least, we have no right to pass judgment. That was, God, my accent's bad. It appears that prosecutor, it appears that prosecutor Redgeworth's tepid reasoning has all been for naught. No, shut the fuck up. Hmm. I wonder about that. I deduced Miss Hall's actions simply to expose a different crime. If she only took the sculptures, we wouldn't have found the body from 18 years ago. Are you saying I hid Monsieur Doba's body? That's correct. But how could someone hide a body for 18 years? He was alive and she was holding him in the basement and then she murdered him today. <laughs> I, would, I would imagine it would be very difficult under normal circumstances. So you're saying the circumstances weren't normal? Are you claiming you know where the body was hidden? Inside the ice. When you consider Miss Hall's actions, the answers become obvious. 18 years ago, Miss Hall stole something more than just Sherbert sculptures. Something more than just Sherbert. If you're so confident, I would like to hear your answer. Where did Miss Hall hide the body? I don't know. Inside the fucking sculptures. That's the only thing I could think. She hit him in the in the sculptures for 18 years. This is a photograph of Mr. Dover's sculptures. Yes, and perhaps you've noticed that the victim's body can be seen in this picture. What? I'm sorry, huh? Hmm. 
No. Is he inside of this? What are you trying to get at, Edgeworth? I do not see it. Please point it out clearly. Where in this picture can one see the body of the victim? You're gonna make me point to it? I mean, it's gotta be this, right? It's, this is just the cloth. It's the only thing that makes sense. The Gemini sculpture. Yes. Well, it may look like the Gemini sculpture at first glance. In reality, this is none other than Isaac Dover himself. So, okay. She, the body, she took the body out of the crate. She brought it into the room, propped it up with that sheet, and she used a rainbow machine to like, make the sheet look just look a different color okay right and then she hid it for 18 years batch it insane but okay so then i guess somehow mr what's his face gustav gustavia gets suspicious about it figures out that she kept the sculptures and so he snuck in there to like check and she had i guess she must have like you know it was so frozen shut because she had to keep it so cold to preserve the body so then he set off the gas but why was the gas in there in the first place i don't all i can see from this picture is an ice sculpture statue that's because a certain piece of evidence was used to conceal it conceal it which piece of evidence did Miss Hole use to conceal the body? Body. This is the cloth that was covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace. This cloth manipulates light. With it, it's entirely possible to make something look like ice. It isn't that isn't that right, Delicia? Yes, see. When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno. And when it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice. That cloth will only emit light when it's attached to a special device. Objection. Judge Courtney, look closely at the picture one more time. Beneath the Gemini case lies a box-shaped object attached to the pedestal. This is a rainbow light device. Detective Gumshoe reported one in the Winter Palace. This is a device that went missing 18 years ago. Originally, it would have been attached to the cloth inside the glass case. Naturally, Miss Hall took the device with her when she moved the sculptures. By using the rainbow light device to make the fluorescent cloth glow, Mr. Dover's body was made to look like an ice sculpture. That's ridiculous. So then, when Uncle Ray took a photo of the Winter Palace, that's right. The body had been in front of us all along, disguised as Gemini. However, the body and the fluorescent cloth were both discovered in the fountain. The ice sculpture was the body. We would have found it in the Winter Palace. If we had found it there, her trick would have been revealed immediately. Miss Hall moved the body out of the Winter Palace to prevent us from discovering it. Absurd. You say she threw the body into the fountain without us noticing. No, Judge Courtney, there was no need for that. She simply used the same method as before. Remember the lift trolley? Ah! She moved the body to some other room and dumped it into the stream of the fountain. Naturally, the frozen body would have sunk to the bottom of the fountain. That's why the cloth floated up first and was found by Delicia. Side note, an autopsy would show if tissue had been frozen and then defrosted. Anyway, eventually the body thawed out and floated to the surface. Monsieur Edgeworth, you truly have a gift for deductive reasoning. However, do you have any proof that I moved the body? If 
you cannot prove that, then there's no way I accept what you're saying. Wasn't there anyone who saw Miss Hall move the body? Yes, I believe such a person exists. The answer lies in the evidence that person gave me. Yeah, the sketch from Larry. And that piece of evidence will reveal the truth of Miss Hall's actions. Prosecutor Regwell, are you able to prove the crime of Miss Curator? Certainly. Is saying Miss Curator harder than saying, or easier than saying Miss Hall? I don't know why she has to do that. Why can't she just call people by their name? She, I know she did in the other case too, but I hate it. Certainly, I have evidence that she will show exactly what she did. Then it's time we see your answer. Which piece of evidence? It's that sketch. Where is it? Ba da ba ba da. Another sketch. Oh, it appears I have been drawn in this one. This is a sketch Larry drew of the women in the fount at the fountain patio. I would like to direct your attention to the service cart on the left side of the sketch. Service cart? What about it? Hmm. Don't you see? What transpired 18 years ago has happened again. Miss Hall was moving the body in the sketch. Please wait. Please wait. I don't see Mr. Dover's body anywhere in that drawing. All I did was hand out chocolate to everyone. The key detail in the sketch is the color of the tablecloth. Up until now, I thought Larry had just made a mistake. A tablecloth. It's light blue. It's a tablecloth. It's light blue. Maybe light blue in the sketch, but no blue tablecloth exists in this mansion. Perhaps it's light blue because the body was hidden, still glowing underneath the tablecloth. What? But the lift trolley is a rectangular, rectangular in the sketch. If she just placed the body in the lift trolley, we would have noticed it immediately. There were two blocks of ice in the Winter Palace that are completely hollowed out. If she put the body inside the block of ice, it would look like a servant car, service car. That's... Miss Hall. You put the body in the block of ice and used the lift trolley to move it, didn't you? I... I never imagined you would be able to do so much from just a single sketch. But what if I was... It was just a mistake, like you said before. It doesn't prove anything. I agree that alone the sketch is worthless. Once you remove the body, the service cart would revert back to a lift trolley. That's why the lift trolley was left behind in the fountain patio. And without the service cart, there would be no place for you to put your chocolates. The chocolates I, chocolates I gave everyone? Until then, the chocolates had sat on top of the service cart as you gave them away. But when you gave them to us, you took them from your pocket. Ah, now you... Now that you mention it, they were a bit melted. But they were still really sweet and tasty. So, why was it necessary to put them in your pocket halfway through? That's because... That's because once the body was disposed of, you no longer had a service cart. Hold it right there. If she put the chocolates in her pocket and left the tr lift trolley in the patio, then where did the tablecloth go? She had been forced to put the chocolates in her pocket. She wouldn't have had time to dispose of the tablecloth. It was in the fountain. Can you answer that for me? The tablecloth isn't hidden. It's right in front of us. Do clarify. The tablecloth used to hide, hide the body. Where is it now? Inside the fountain. Outside of the patio. Miss Hall has it with her. I mean, it's not in the fountain anymore because what's her face pulled it out. I thought. Miss Hall has it with her? I don't know. It's the most weird of them. I mean, it's not, it wasn't in the fountain. The outside of it doesn't make any sense. Isn't it obvious? Miss Hall is carrying it with her out in the open. Out in the open? You mean... Miss Hall, you are wearing the tablecloth around your waist. The block of ice was not encased in a glass case. 
In other words, the tablecloth was in direct contact with the block of ice. If we have it examined, we will undoubtedly find traces of sherbet on it. Miss Hall, you will turn your tablecloth over to the police at once. There's no need to examine the tablecloth. It is just as you say. I stole the poison from Madame Delicia and I moved the body. I have done. I have done terrible things. Madame Delicia, I'm so sorry. One week ago, I took your Megatonic X bottle. I slipped it into that man's pocket to make it look like suicide. And if they suspected it was murder, the evidence would point to Madame Delicia. Katie! Kate, what were you thinking? Weren't we always trying to save Mr. Master together? I could not let myself be arrested. Not until I had proven Mr. Master's, Monsieur Master's innocence. In the very beginning, I had planned to turn myself in once everything was over. But I suppose it's too late to say that now. Kate, why? Why would you go this far? Even for Mr. Shield, Monsieur Shields, I've caused nothing but trouble. For the past 18 years, I've been a criminal. Die seven incident. Don't tell me you were the true culprit. My greatest crime was stealing the Sherbert sculptures for my own selfish interests. When Mr. Dover died, they were no longer just ordinary sculptures. They become the final works of the sculptor Mr. Master so deeply loved. My headphones have fallen off my head. Oh, along with my... It's like everything is falling off my head. Okay. What if... What if they returned before Mr. Master or melted before they, he returned? With that in mind, I couldn't let anyone touch them, not even the police. Even though I knew it was wrong, I moved them to the mansion's freezer. However, I only wanted to preserve Mr. Dover's art. I did not know his body was hidden among them. So she stole the sculptures without noticing the body. Okay. I, you know, I could believe it. Monsieur Master would never take another person's life, but because of me, the body vanished, and Monsieur Master was found guilty. That kind man, he treated someone like me as family. He meant more to me than anyone else, and yet... Kate... Mr. Master was found guilty. I was chased out of this mansion. I was finally able to reclaim the mansion just a few days ago, but when I saw the sculptures still sleeping away in the freezer, I realized that I was the one who hid Monsieur Dover's body. However, the statute of, limita statute of limitations had already expired. Therefore, I could think of no other way to atone for my sins. You only spent a few days getting all of the art together? What the fuck? It appears I have misunderstood her. It seems she caused this entire incident in order to save Mr. Master. What you think about, Mr. Edgeworth? There's one thing that has been bothering me this whole time. Why would Miss Hall plan a murder with such an uncertain method like poison gas? And the reason she disguised the Autumn Palace to look like the Winter Palace. Is to make those involved in the incident 18 years ago confuse the two rooms. I wonder what Kate was trying to accomplish. So you're telling me there's another part? She's trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence. In that case, Miss Hall's true objective was to make us find the body? To find the true culprit. Perhaps she was trying to find the true culprit. <sighs> Miss Hall, were you trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence? You wanted to reveal the true culprit and have the police find the body from 18 years ago. 
Is that not your true goal? By displaying those sculptures, you would you attracted attract those involved in the past incident. Only two people would know where the body was hidden. You and the true culprit. The culprit would have panicked knowing what the body would be displayed publicly. Yes. And if the culprit really showed up, there's the risk they'd erase their tracks. In the worst case scenario, they might have even stolen the body. So, how could she protect the evidence while simultaneously luring in the culprit? Oh my god. It was Gustavia. She set up a trap for him. She's so, she's so smart. I see. That's why she made the Autumn Palace look like the Winter Palace. Yes. And then, Miss Hall, you must have thought, whoever opens the Pisces case, believing it to be the Gemini case, must be the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. What? But that means that person is the true culprit. Please wait a moment, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Do you realize what you're saying? Do you intend to accuse that person of being the culprit behind the IS-7 incident? I do. Miss Hall was trying to trap the true culprit. If so, wouldn't the person who fell for the trap be the true culprit? However, I have no evidence to back up my claims. If I make a formal accusation without any proof, it will not end well. Should I announce the true killer of Isaac Dover? Do it! Make an accusation! What should I- what I should do is reveal the truth. In that case, there's no need to hesitate. Yes, that's correct, Judge Courtney. I indict this person as the true culprit behind the IS-7 incident. This motherfucker! There's gonna be no, there's one more part. Oh God. Dane Gustavia, who fell victim to the poison gas, is the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. Gusty is. Mr. Gustavia. Miss Hall, didn't you believe that if you opened this gallery, the true culprit would come? Not the ideal choice of sweet treat, you okay? That's why you set up the poison gas trap, is it not? You truly have a gifted mind, just like your father. It is as you say, Mr. Edgeworth. Now, would you please tell us the whole truth? Yes, I have nothing more to hide. I will tell you everything. I set a trap in the gallery to find the true culprit. Before the gallery opened, I left the o only the Autumn Door Palace unlocked. At opening time, when I went around to unlock each room, I discovered that the Autumn Palace had been locked from the inside. I knew that the true culprit was on the other side of the door. My hand was trembling. All that was left was for the trap to do its work. When I heard Mr. Gustavia was exposed to the poison gas, I realized he was the culprit. What normally- Oh, you tell me. I'm sorry. I thought that if the police discovered Mr. Dover's body, it would prove Mr. Master's innocence. My advice for next time is is pan fry the pineapple because it, it will make it less acidic. And it'll just make it like sweet. Put a little brown sugar on it. Caramelize that shit. Hell yeah. Anyway, why didn't you ever come talk to me? There might have been another way. I know you did everything you could for me over the past 18 years. However, all of this had been brought on by my own crime. I, I did say it, but I think you had already left by the time I said it. Damn stream delay. But now you know next time. I pr probably would, your stomach's probably mad about the acid. That would be my guess. Now you want grilled pineapple and chicken tacos? Oh my God, yes. What is that? Oh god, what is that? What is the... Usually it's... It's not carne asada. It usually has pineapple with it. Ah, it's gonna come to me later. As soon as possible. Kate. Not only that, the police hit the fact that the body went missing 18 years ago. 
Even if I reported the body, there was a chance that the truth would be hidden again. Yum. Carnage saw the steak. This is, I think, usually pork, which I know you can't eat. But it's usually served with pineapple. That's why I caused the incident at the museum's opening with as many witnesses as possible. I'm sorry. Gregory, Mr. Master, and even you. I couldn't protect anyone. Mr. Shields. Must be tough on him as well. The only one who should be apologizing is me. Mr. Edgeworth, Mr. Shields, I'm terribly sorry. I shall accept whatever punishment I am given. However, I must ask of you, please clear Mr. Master's name. Man lost 18 years of his life in prison because fucking Von Karma had to forge evidence. Truth was hidden for 18 years. It was revealed in an unexpected manner. However, to think that things would end this way. One more part. Last one! Last part of this case. There's like three more cases after this. <laughs> Miss Hall, have you composed yourself? Hi, Carly. <sighs> yes. What you did, no matter the reason, was unforgivable. Yes, I know. Damn, you're being a little harsh, Edward. However, you committed this crime in order to prove Mr. Master's innocence. If the true culprit is someone else, we have a duty to re reinvestigate. Oh. No false evidence from the IS-7 incident remains in the official case files. Moreover, there is no evidence to lend credence to Miss Hall's testimony. We should first arrest Miss Hall as the culprit behind today's incident. We cannot be certain that all the case files are accurate. After all, the prosecutor in the case has a history of for forging evidence. Are you suggesting that the PIC overlooks such a prosecutor? That's none of my concern. The truth is that evidence was falsified. And the fact that Dover's body from 18 years ago was just discovered proves it. Prosecutor Redgeworth, I can see remnants of Prosecutor Von Kama within you. What did you say? Disgusting. Fuck you. How dare you say that? You try to deceive the PIC and fabricate the truth. Let me inform you of my... Or rather, the PIC's logic. Disgusting. I'm so offended on behalf of Edgeworth. How dare you say that? I acknowledge the prosecutor Von Kahn has fabricated the information about the body. However, he successfully convicted Mr. Masters as an accomplice. I believe that the true culprit was Miss Curator herself. She even attempted to murder Mr. Gustavia today in order to pin the blame on him. He did not. Is that really what the PIC believes? Yes, every word I utter is for the sake of law and order. It seems she intends to hide the truth for the sake of the PIC. At this rate, neither Mr. Masters nor Miss Hall will be saved. Yeah, fuck you. You're wrong. I really hate that I can't, like, quick skip through the dialogue the first time I have to go through it. did not successfully. No, he did not. Objection. No. Fuck you. It didn't successfully. You changed the fucking case file. <sighs> No, she did not success. No, she wasn't trying to murder him. She wouldn't depend the crime on somebody. Why choose Mr. Gustavia? Perhaps Mr. Gustavia suspected Miss Hall was a criminal, as he attempted to confirm whether or not the Gemini sculpture was a genuine. He was caught in a trap meant to silence him forever. 
Can you prove that theory? Mr. Gustavi is currently teetering on the brink of death. There is probably no way to prove it unless he regains consciousness. In other words, there's nothing we can do for now. That can't be true. There must be still be something we can do. You still don't get it, do you? Allow me to give you a clearer explanation. We already have ample evidence for both the IS-7 incident and today's poison gas incident. What? Ample evidence for both... I need to investigate further. Still one piece of evidence from the IS-7 incident that remains unsettled. How's everyone doing? I am all right. How are you, Carly? It's been a day, TM. Between my car pot tire popping, and then I think I only told Nico this, but Minnie, last night, I was up to like, I must say like 3.30 playing Tears of the Kingdom. And Minnie kept barking at a bunch of shit, random shit. So I was like, oh, stay up and try to, you know, tire her out because I'm not working tomorrow. And like, tire her out. So she starts barking at shit and she goes to sleep and my parents can sleep. And I was awake with her until six in the morning because she just refused to calm down. She would just bounce between the back door and the front window and start trying to like bark at nothing at nothing six in the morning is when i went to bed today or <laughs> i got to sleep to like 11 after that but like i didn't want this dog she's a menace chilling per usual nisa has been waking up multiple times a night yelling for no reason what is happening with our animals yeah, I took off work today. I had taken off work today already so I could just play Tears of the Kingdom all day. Um, and also I needed to run some errands because I only had like one thing for Mother's Day. Like I only had tea. I wanted to get something else. But something's, something's in the water. The animals are freaking out. This is... This is the forensic results from the Gemini sculpture that melted in the Winter Palace. According to the results of the analysis, traces of someone's blood were found. Who does this blood belong to? Until we know the answer, this case is still open. There was blood mixed in with the remains of the Gemini sculpture. I heard nothing of this from Sebastian. This was a report from Detective Gumshoe. I had planned to tell Mr. DeBest myself. Brooklyn, Brooklyn was screaming at you the other day. You were so depressed. It was like, ah! Oh, no. The animals. They're freaking out. So even though you had no authority, investigative authority, you still did as you please. I shall report everything that transpired today to the PIC. I will not avert my eyes from the truth, nor shall I overlook the mistakes of the past. If you wish to report my actions to the PIC, be my guest. But in exchange, I want you to let me investigate this case to the very end. It's not my place to decide such things. You must ask that you check in with Sebastian regarding this matter. Just you yelling back, half crying, be like, what do you want, please? That is the worst. Minnie will just sit there and bark at me, like in my face. And it's like, what do you want? I don't understand what this is but you're not asking nicely. Like, and sometimes it's like, oh, I want to play, but we will have, we'll have been playing ball and she'll just like drop it on the floor, like 
three feet away from me and then just stare at me like come on are we playing and it's like you dropped the ball over there I can't reach that and I'm not getting up like can you just like communicate better what you want the bar it's the barking is getting out of control with Minnie she just she barks at us all the time I don't know what to do to fix that it's infuriating Good news, you guys. Oh, there he is. Thanks to our early detection, Mr. Gustavia's life was saved. I know, I wish they would just fucking learn English, man. You, you live in America. Learn English. <laughs> is she going to school? <laughs> She's getting... Yes, we're taking... She graduated basic manners. She's now in advanced manners. She had her first class on Tuesday. The good news is there's another dog in the class who is competing for noisiest dog. So we're not the only embarrassment. So he's alive. Get a refund because it ain't helping. Yeah. Would you be the ones who saved my life? Hey, Mr. Gustavia. You are. So assistant, are you not? You've grown so big this, this time. This one is your assistant, then. No, I'm... He's an assistant candidate. And Gregory Edgeworth's son. I'm Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. What a twist of fate. I'm in your debt. It is thanks to you that I've completely recovered. There's no need for no need for thanks. Since you're alive, we can reach the truth behind the incident 18 years ago. What do you speak of? I'm doing the the on the voice. That's not what I want. Recover to jail. Exactly. Take your rightful place in prison. While you were unconscious, the truth has started to come to light. You may be Isaac Dover, the murderer sweating what really miss hall was looking for the criminal behind the events of 18 years ago that's why she set up the poison gas in the pisces case mr gustavia the events of the incident 18 years ago tell us what really happened so you wish to remain silent nah i think he's just meditating he can sleep standing up what a useful skill to have! Meditation is different from sleeping, though. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us what you did 18 years ago. <laughs> I'm the criminal because I fell for the trap. That's not very fu not a very funny joke. I'm a victim, not a culprit. Mr. Gustavia, it has not yet been made clear whether or not you are the criminal. This is only the baseless speculation. Do not concern yourself with the drivel of a prosecutor without juris jurisdiction. At least there's one person here who understands. My name is Justine Courtney. I'm a judge. If you would like, I would be happy to assist you. Let us show Prosecutor Regworth the truth of 18 years ago. Hmm. Understood. I shall prove my innocence to you, Sir Prosecutor. Judge Courtney, is that your answer? Do you intend to bury the truth of the IS-7 incident before it can be brought to light? I merely believe in the judgments of the goddess of law. Ultimately, those who render judgments are only human. As long as humans control the law, there's no guarantee that every verdict is correct. If you're going to help conceal the truth, I will not hold back. Hmm, I'm looking forward to it. Lady Justice, what should I do now? You're being suspected because you set off the poison gas. Can you tell us the reason? Why you opened the Pisces case? Understood. I came to see Sir Dover's works from 18 years ago. However, I accidentally entered the museum a half hour before it opened. Miss Hall, there was nobody at the entrance, correct? Since I thought the criminal from 18 years ago since I thought the criminal from 18 years ago might be coming, 
I had no security guards in place. I didn't even lock the doors. I was very busy with opening preparations, so there was nobody on the first floor. In addition, I locked every palace door aside from the autumn one. I see. This must have been done in order to lure the criminal to the autumn palace. Which is why he ended up entering the autumn palace. It's already suspicious that he snuck into the museum in the first place. The gallery should remain silent. Unless you have evidence that can prove his testimony false, I would not allow objections. Gallery? This isn't even a courtroom! Now then. Why did you open the Pisces case? I wish to view Sir Dover's handiwork up close. The Gemini sculpture... No, it was actually the Pisces, wasn't it? The lid had been frozen shut, so I borrowed a burner to open it. But as soon as I opened the lid, poison gas began pouring out. It's quite a convenient testimony. Sounds like a total lie, doesn't it? There are parts of Mr. Gustavi's testimony I have issues with as well. However, there is no evidence to disprove it. But that's... Yeah, why would you fucking open it? Stupid idiot. It would not make sense for suspicion to fall on Lady Catherine before myself. She may have intended to release the poison gas haphazardly. Objection. Kate turned on the sprinklers as soon as the gas was released. She was specifically targeting the person who triggered the trap. Mr. Gustavia, you were her only target. You, you were willing to accept the words of this criminal as the truth. Okay, Nico. Miss Hall must atone for her crimes. However, the same can be said for the criminal from 18 years ago. Sir Prosecutor, you seem to wish to suspect me in the, to the bitter end. However, I had no reason to murder Sir Dover. I know, I love his voice. It's so good. I really wish it happened more often. There's no evidence to suggest I killed him. You cannot suspect me. Mr. Edgeworth, you can't prove Mr. Gustavi is a criminal? All we know for sure is that Mr. Gustavia fell victim to the poison gas. No matter how strange his behavior was, it won't prove he committed the murder. But that's... Mr. Shields, is there nothing we can do? Well, if there isn't any evidence, we should try reorganizing the facts. Mr. Gustavia was the one who killed Mr. Dover. And there must have been a motive. Motive. Mr. Gustavia himself is denying that such a motive exists. It's not easy to take another person's life. 18 years ago, your old man also discussed motive of Prosecutor Von Karma. You claim the collaboration is irrelevant? In Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour. Dover didn't help. It could serve as a motive for murder. You couldn't talk with Mr. Gustavia 18 years ago, but this time things are different. We connect to everything we've learned so far. The truth might be revealed. Yes, I suppose so. Seems I must re-examine the information from 18 years ago. I must recall all the details that have remained unexplained. So, the glove finger marks in the picture frame. Was your doing? Delicia has denied leaving the fingerprints on the frame. They were left by Mr. Gustavia. He may have been trying to view the angel's recipe. Monsieur Master asked me to change the film and the camera. With the flashbacks Ray telling Edgeworth? I believe so, yeah. Like Ray explaining the events of the case back then. Love that as soon as I turn off my PC and pick up my phone, it dies. No! Oh, it's the fucking worst. There wasn't enough film. It seems the number of photos he took didn't match up with the amount of film remaining. Okay. I thought you took all those pictures. Well, he told me himself it might have been just a mistake, though. The information my father collected 18 years ago was certainly not for naught. 
there's no evidence, then I shall use logic to reveal the truth. All good, I turned it back on pretty quickly. Good shit. I love that for you, snug in bed. All right. Mr. Gustavia, you collaborated with the victim, Isaac Dilbert, to create your desserts, didn't you? Oh, it seems you know about my secret. Mr. Shields told me about it. Mr. Dover handled the design while you were in charge of the taste. Is that correct? Back then, my training had been insufficient. It seems you worked together through the semifinals, but not during the finals. Why is that? We both wish to compete in the finals against Sir Master on our own merit. Objection! You must have also helped with Isaac Dover's desserts, even during the finals. What makes you able to declare something like that? Didn't you tell Prosecutor Von Karma about it yourself, 18 years ago? Had you cooperated until the day before the finals? I won't say my chair is uncomfortable, but I won't say it's comfy either, especially after work. Fair. Like... I love this chair, but after sitting in it for five hours, um, I want out of it. <laughs> My back hurts. I mean, it's just a shitty Ikea chair, so like, it's not like it has the greatest support anyway, but sculptures in Mr. Dover's room are all made of sherbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze, which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet the ad in advance the day before. That's right, so you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the finals. Then why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavia in return? These the dead are no concern to me. Why did Isaac Dover not help you in return? There is a reason why your partnership with Isaac Dover broke down. That would be a motive for murder. Mm -hmm. That could be a possibility. However, Sir Dover and I ended our partnership peacefully. A peaceful breakup? That's hard to imagine. Not to mention, it's absurd to think that I killed Sir Dover in Sir Master's room. I couldn't have killed Sir Dover while Sir Master was also in there, making the desserts. Hmm. In other words, there's no way I could have committed the murder. That's not true. If there was a moment when Mr. Master was absent from the room, I could prove that it was possible for Mr. Gustavia to commit the murder. I assume it's gotta be these two. No, wasn't those two. Okay. Delicia was in there for a while. Did he take pictures of it? There we go. He had photographed the contents of the angel's recipe. He wouldn't need to steal it. Perhaps Mr. Gustavia used Mr. Master's camera to take the pictures. If he had stolen the actual recipe book, the police would have found it. I see. Pictures, eh? Problem is, the time at which he entered Mr. Master's room. Mr. Gustavia could have moved around freely during the afternoon tea, right? Because it seems both him and Mr. Dover did not participate in the afternoon tea. Hell yeah. There we go. If I remember correctly, the only time we can prove that Dover was still alive is... The victim was not seen as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the rooms was Jeff Master. Master's desserts all you ate. Actually, no. After the afternoon tea, I also ate ice desserts. After the contest began, Isaac Dover was locked up in his room. If we assume he was killed at some point before Delicia snuck into his room, 
then there was a huge, high chance that he was killed before the afternoon tea was over. Okay, here we go. Isaac Dover was alive until the afternoon tea began. Ergo, that is the only time when Kustavia could have killed Dover. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you satisfied? Sorry, but I'm far from satisfied. As I'm finally starting to see the truth behind this case. Are you saying you have found some evidence to show us that truth? No, there's no need to present any evidence. So we just have... We can just have Mr. Gustavia tell us the truth. So this is where you use that, right? Oh god, are we gonna play chess again? That was really loud. We're gonna play chess again. I don't wanna play chess. There's one thing I want you to tell me. Play chess in my brain. I'm gonna actually play chess in my brain. I said, Mr. Gustavia, there's one thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the finals of the contest, you made your desserts on your own. I wanted to compete for the title of the world's greatest pastry chef on my own merits. If that was truly the case, you would have competed on your own merits from the start. I want you to tell me why it was necessary for you to cooperate with Isaac, Do Isaac Dover. Oh my god, here we go. Holy <laughs> chess. I hate this mechanic. <laughs> I don't know why I hate it so much. I just do. During the contest 18 years ago, Mr. Gustavia collaborated with Mr. Dover. I wonder, what made them decide to cooperate in the first place? That's what I need to draw out from him, but... Oh boy. Seems he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. First I'll ask about why he collaborated with Mr. Dover. Truth has been hidden for 18 years. That ends today. Logic chess begin! Why did you decide to collaborate with Isaac Dover? Sir Dover and I were already acquaintances even before the contest began. Since he was interested in the contest, we simply decided to enter it together. Joining forces with the sculptor, you weren't confident in your own abilities. You know nothing about me. We wanted to make great we wanted to make great works together. Sir Dover's son and my, my own attended the same elementary school. We all got along well from the start. Really? So we were going to share the title of the world's greatest pastry chef together? Mm -hmm. As expected, he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way. Mr. Dover was a sculptor. I doubt he had any interest in the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. In that case, where did his true goal lie? Oh good, it broke it. Indeed, my goal was the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. However, Sir Dover's goal was the grand prize, the angel's recipe. I see. You cooperated because your interests were aligned. But there must have been a reason why your partnership soured. Sir Prosecutor, I am the victim of a poisoning. If you are going to suspect me in this manner, perhaps I'd better return to the infirmary. Wait a moment. In that case, you should end things soon. I'm not a patient man. Seems he's trying to leave. I can't let that happen. He's still hiding something. Next, I should ask him about his true goal. I need to keep the pressure on him, while being cautious of the time. Did you want to appear on Mr. Master's TV show? I believe it was called Shake and Bake, was it not? Pretty sure it's called piece of cake. Would you really want to see me dance about while I make desserts? No, that's probably wouldn't be too popular with the kids. Hmm, exactly. I know my limitations. I have no interest in that kind of theatrical tomfoolery. Sir Prosecutor, you should think about who you're talking to before asking questions. I just oh, oh my god. Never has those questions been like false before didn't you have another goal besides the title the title alone doesn't seem to have much value 
How dare the likes of you insult the title of a confectionery artist? My only goal was the title itself. I had no interest in anything else. My dream was to become the world's greatest pastry chef. Eighteen years ago, I was lacking the design skills. However, things are different now. Oh, are you saying you have improved at your craft? Exactly, for I have trained at the Republic of Zhengfa. Yes, yes. At the time, I also studied Mr. Master's works. I would often watch his show with my son. So, you were studying Mr. Master's work to improve your own skills. If you had his recipes, perhaps it would have been easier for you to become the world's greatest... Perhaps. To pastry chef, Sir Master's recipes are, are worth the weight in gold. Here we go. If, I've, if becoming the world's greatest pastry chef was your goal, you should have also been interested in the grand prize, the angel's recipe. Recipes of the world's greatest pastry chef. I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. However, I wouldn't think that simply being interested would be a problem. I wonder about that. Angel's recipe's true nature was not for making desserts, but cures. And all the contest participants should have been aware of that. Looks like I'm getting close. He isn't meditating anymore. Now to slowly but surely drive him into a corner. Okay. Next, I ask what he planned to use the recipe book for. Did you intend to win the angel's recipe and use it to make desserts? Of course. If I attained the angel's recipe, I was going to use it in my trading. I hear the angel's recipe is worth a lot of money. I don't know the exact details, but... That recipe book was much too valuable to be sold. You seem to know quite a lot about the angel's recipe. It was explained to all the contest participants at the beginning of the contest. In that case, you must know about the recipe book's true nature. It was not a recipe book for desserts at all. Impressive, Sir Prosecutor. You know the true nature of the Angel's Recipe. The Angel's Recipe, some have called it the ultimate recipe book. It contained formulas for new medicines that were not yet on the market. The other recipes were actually formulas for new medicines. This could be a useful clue. The Angel's Recipe, did you know its true value? Silly question, it contains Sir Master's best dessert recipes. Any past chef worth their salt would want it. Looks like that clue will come in handy. You may have studied design in Chengfa. However, your skills in lying could use more work. You just said earlier, the angel's recipe contained formulas for medicines. You weren't interested in desserts. You wanted the medicine formulas. condition may be worsening. I should get back to the infirmary. Oh, damn it. There's, there's too many options. Now, why would a pastry chef such as yourself be so interested in medicine? Perhaps what you were really after was the information about the new medicine. I've underestimated you, Sir Prosecutor. Yes. My goal was more than just the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. At the time, my son was ill. I needed the recipe for the medicine. His missing son? Your son was ill? Tell me more about that. Protect my son's honor. I can say no more. Judging by the worried look on his face, I must have struck a nerve. Next, I need him to tell me more about his son's illness. This is it. This will be my final move of the game. 
What was the name of your son's illness? Sir Prosecutor, how insensitive of you. My son was seriously ill. I would not be discussing this with the likes of you. Seems I don't have enough clues. Okay. Yeah, 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 I get it. Do the angel's recipe have the only cure? Yes. Well, the medicine is being sold everywhere now. At the time, the recipe book was my one and only option. That's why I continued making my desserts without joining the others for tea time. So you weren't interested in what Mr. Master was making? You sure seemed confident in your chances of winning. I couldn't be bothered to pay attention to the other contestants' desserts. Ah, fuck me. Can't <laughs> I'm so bad at this. You just said earlier that you studied Mr. Master. Oh, Mr. Master. I read that. It's, I said Mr. Master, and I was thinking Dover. In addition, if your goal was to win the contest in order to get the medicine formula, you must have been curious about the other contestants' entries as well. There was time to sample the other desserts during the contest, but none of their entries had any flavor. So I didn't want to eat any of it. I suspect I may have been a bit nervous as well. But everything you ate tasted flavorless. This could be a useful clue. What kind of person was your son? My boy, he loved the desserts I made. Did you enter the contest solely for your son? You, you could never understand the feelings a father has for his son. I wear nothing more than to cure my boy's illness. Till the semifinals, my son always would always drop by the contest venue to play. Is that so? Well, you need to get in your way. I doubt you had time to care for your son while you were challenging Mr. Master. That may be so, but I wanted to grant my son's wish. He said he always wanted to be the first to eat my desserts. about your son. If he was so sick, wouldn't it be difficult for him to come and play with you? My son's illness. It wasn't life-threatening. Hmm. That might serve as a clue. What was the name of your son's illness? Okay. You told me your son's illness was not life-threatening. Is there really a need to be so secretive about it? Man's has COVID. Yeah. Probably has that salt, can't taste salt thing, I guess. It's enough to keep him from living a normal life. That must have been difficult for your son. I tried everything I could to cure his illness. It wasn't fair for the poor boy. He could never taste the dr desserts he loved so much. Angel's recipe contained a cure for a certain illness, a remedy that could also cure Mr. Master's taste disorder. It was like a thing earlier, the like you can't, a disorder where you can't taste salt in food. And Master had it at one point, but the that's how we found out that the cure for it was in that book. It's very convoluted, Carly. It's, it's very dumb as well. <laughs> he had it too. He had it too. I see. So your son suffers from a taste disorder that you obviously also suffer from because you said all the desserts didn't have any flavor. I didn't think you figured it out so quickly. In order to cure your son's taste disorder, you needed the recipe book. Wasn't that your true goal? It is as you say. Based on how he's acted up until now, it appears that he's still hiding something. Looks like that clue will come in handy. Yeah. Being unable to taste anything, regardless of what you eat. Such a bitter illness. That reminds me, didn't you say something similar earlier? None of their entries had any flavor, so I didn't feel like eating any of it, wasn't it? Perhaps your son wasn't the only one who suffered from a taste disorder. 
It's hard to imagine being a successful pastry chef without a sense of taste. Perhaps what you really wanted was to cure yourself. That's completely ludicrous. 18 years ago, I made those desserts all by myself. It seems you've caught yourself in a contradiction. Didn't you cooperate with Isaac Dover in the contest? You can hardly say you made the desserts all by yourself. There we fucking go. You must take great pride in your abilities as a pastry chef, but to betray your pride and cooperate with another contestant. You did it all to cure your own disease. Well done, sir prosecutor. It's as you say, the one with the taste disorder is not my son. It is I. No one knew. I've kept it a secret for 18 years. Doesn't matter how long a secret is kept. If you lie before me, I will expose it. Dane Gustavia and Isaac Dover were both trying to obtain the recipes for a new, new medicines. Gustavia to cure his condition, and Dover most likely to sell the recipe book for money. For this reason, they entered the contest as a collaborative effort. And with that, checkmate. Ugh, oh, good, we're done. We've done that. I'm sure I have to cross-examine a bunch of people and find contradictions. That'll be next. God. These games are so long. Never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. Taste disorder? It was a severe disorder. I was unable to discern any flavor at all. It's the one illness a pastry chef dreads above all. Those symptoms sound a bit different from Mr. Master's taste disorder. This game is ahead of its time with COVID and everybody losing their sense of taste or their ability to taste things and smell. Mr. Master's condition is known as hypogeosia. Simply cause a decreased sensitivity to certain specific flavors. I'm sure it had to cause Mr. Master's much pain too. After all, no medication was available to cure it 18 years ago. In order to cure your taste disorder, you would need Mr. Master's Angel's recipe. And that's why you entered the contest, am I correct? It was one of my goals, but I still had my sights set on world's greatest. When it comes making desserts, I won't lose to anyone. I didn't even realize that was a real thing. I didn't either. I didn't think it... I don't know, this game makes up shit all the time. I, maybe it is real? But probably not in the way that this game makes it out to be. I don't know. Even without the ability to taste, I still have the utmost confidence in my flavors. Oh, so I presume you also prepared your desserts in the finals with the intent to win. That goes without saying. According to what Mr. Shields told us earlier. Oh, it is real? Okay. Thank you, Carly. <laughs> uh, the evaluation of Mr. Gustave's entry was... Until the semifinals, Mr. Gustave's flavor and design were to my liking. Unfortunately, both the taste and the appearance of his finals entry left must be much to be desired. Seems the dessert you made for the finals was not rated highly in regards to flavor. Mr. Gustavia, you will tell us about how you made your dessert during the finals. Very well. Seems I must teach you upstarts a lesson. This is a very battle-scarred pastry chef. Sir Dover and I cooperated until the finals. I handled the flavor. He was in charge of the design. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge Sir Master with my own skills. I helped Sir Dover make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. If the flavor of my entry wasn't good enough, my own lack of training was to blame. How about that, Sir Prosecutor? This is a truth from 18 years ago. No, it's not. I can't find any contradictions in his testimony. Well, of course he isn't going to fess up to that that easily. This guy's been on the run for 18 years after all. Guess we just have to keep on pressing him until he breaks, eh? Yes. Press everything. Objection! Hold it! Hold it. So Mr. Dover took care of the design while you handled the flavor. Sir Dover was a sculptor by trade. His sense of design was splendid. But he was just an amateur chef who 
combined our strengths by working together. You never did have much design sense, did you, Mr. Gustavia? What do you think of this? That's the symbol of Zheng Fu. Wow, a phoenix! That is really good! Whoa, you really have improved these past eight, 18 years. Wahaha, ha. behold the fruits of my 18 years of training. My life and limb on the line for my dessert skills. It's true that I cooperated with Sir Dover 18 years ago, but up until the finals. So you are really serious about the title of world's greatest pastry chef. Yes, confectionery is my life. Naturally, I wanted to be the world's greatest. But back then, I was still inexperienced, and it was no match for the better chef. But your goal was also to obtain the angel's recipe, right? Wouldn't the recipe book be worth more to you than the title? I will not stand by and watch you badge a convalescent man like this. My gavel shall protect you, Mr. Gustavia. I realize he's still recuperating, but... Mr. Mr. Gustavia, do not yield to this devilish prosecutor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Shut up, girl. So you held Mr. Dover with his dessert, but made yours all by yourself. No matter how you look at it, this seems odd. Why didn't Mr. Dover assist you? Matters not how it seems, it's the truth. I do not know what Sir Dover was thinking. It's hard to prove if someone is lying about something that happened 18 years ago. Hey Kay, does your secret weapon also work as a lie detector? If it did, I'd have already stolen Mr. Edgeworth's spotlight. There's no need for that. I'll expose this man's lies myself. Thank you, Stavia. Please continue with your testimony. I do received high praise for the flavor of your desserts. Was there some sort of accident during the finals? Nothing of the sort. I simply was unable to taste my work due to my taste disorder. My intuition must have been off. That's all. Then was your intuition fine while making Mr. Dover's entry? How could there be such a huge difference between the finals and the previous day? Hmm, we're not getting anywhere at this rate. Should I change the topic? Oh. What about the semifinals? Ask about Mr. Dover, don't change the topic. Who's emailing me? Oh God. I forgot about that. Um, forgot about homework. Just saw an email. I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. I guess the semifinals. It's definitely not changed the topic. So you sure there wasn't anything different between the semifinals and the finals? Yes, that's right. Aside from not cooperating with Sir Dover, the finals weren't much different from the semifinals. So you were still able to make your desserts without Mr. Dover's assistance. I may have lacked design sense, but I was confident in the flavor. Apart from the design, there were no major differences between my finals and the semifinals entries. Huh? That sure is strange. That's not how Uncle, Uncle Ray remembers it. Oh my god. Pretty sure both the look and taste of your finals dessert scored poorly. Then there's no way he would have won the contest. Even the flavor, which he was so confident about, failed to materialize during the finals. Something must have changed besides Mr. Dover's cooperation. But what? All those unanswered questions 18 years ago. I should already have the keys I need to unravel them. I must recall all the information 
at Mr. Shields and my father gathered. Okay. So there's something here I gotta present. something from the back then. I don't know what, Carly. I forget whatever I was saying or whatever was happening. This obvious son always came to visit up until the finals. Oh, and my homework. Oh, yes. It'll be fine. It shouldn't take that long. Some is missing. Right? Yes. Yes. There was another difference between the semifinals and the finals. This photo depicts your son. We know he came to visit up until the finals. That is correct. What does that have to do with anything? Your son, who always came to see you through the semifinals, was not present for the finals. And then, it was only in the finals that your flavor judged poorly. I don't believe this to be a mere coincidence. Your son's visits must have been very important to you, were they not? A father can work miracles when the son is watching. My son cheering me on, I was able to make the most delicious desserts. Sir Gustavia sure sounds like a good father, doesn't he? What he's saying is the whole truth, one could say so. But just hearing his son's cheers wouldn't be enough to change his taste of his desserts. A confectioner, confident in his sense of taste, develops a taste disorder. It would have been difficult for him to maintain the taste of his desserts. I came to cheer you on. Is that really all he did? seem very doubtful, Sir Prosecutor. In that case, I'll turn this around and ask you. What else could my elementary school son have done besides cheer me on? He tasted your desserts, obviously. I'm sure your elementary school son would have remembered the taste of your desserts. Of course, my son always loved my desserts. In that case, he would have been able to taste test your desserts in your place. What did you say? Earlier, you told us that you have a taste disorder. Never told this to anyone. Oh god. You had developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. No one else knew about your taste disorder. If Mr. Dover had found out, he would have ended your partnership. After all, you were in charge of the flavor. Okay. Your son didn't just cheer you on. He also helped you determine if your dessert tasted correct. Is that cheating? They're all cheating. Every single one of the people in this contest is cheating. Except for Masters. He's the only one who was like doing honest work. Him and Delver are working together. Making each other's desserts or designing each other's desserts. And then Delicia. All of her shit was made of plastic. Which you weren't supposed to do. A new fear I want to be able to taste. That was one of my biggest fears of like not wanting to catch COVID is I did not want to lose my sense of taste because holy shit, it would be a nightmare. I see. Mr. Dover's dessert was made the day before, so it, it still tasted good. What you're saying is quite amusing, Sir Prosecutor. 
You say that my elementary school son assisted me as a taste tester. Are you insulting my pride? Your pride? It's true, I had no sense of design 18 years ago. However, I won't lose to anyone when it comes to flavor. You claim I would cast aside my pride and rely on my son. Don't get carried away with your foolish conjecture, you upstart. In that case, I'm sure your son could go through. Oh, my theory is mere conjecture. Unfortunately for you, I no longer have a son. I'm sorry, what? What? After my taste disorder was cured, I went to train in Zhengfa immediately. During that time, I severed all ties with my son. Okay? What? Don't, don't tell me. You would even abandon your own son? This man is vile. That's not all. That's not all. Even today, the whereabouts of his son are still unknown. Did he murder his son? Police have been searching, but they haven't been able to find any traces of him. Did they? Did he murder his son? You wish to confirm your theory? I welcome you to try. To search for the only things that are important to me. After regaining my sense of taste, my son no longer mattered. Oh my god! Order in the court. Mr. Gustavia's actions are certainly inhumane. However, we are not here to judge whether or not he's a good father. Look at this fucking smile. Prosecutor Regworth, I believe this is your loss. Why do you even have one, seriously? After all, there's no evidence left from 18 years ago that could prove your theories. Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we could do? We have this discussion four times a case. Four times. There's nothing left? At this rate, we'll never find the truth. Every time. Detective Gumshoe, where are those results? I wonder whose blood it could have been. Ask forensics to look into it, sir. Right, I'll leave it to you, detective. I entrusted Detective Gumshoe with the last piece of evidence. If only I knew who had that who that blood blog blood blood turned that into two two syllables. Miles, there's still one thing that's bothering Oak Gray. Was Mr. Gustavia's only reason for coming to the art gallery to check on the body? If he only wanted to confirm the body's presence, he wouldn't have needed to open the case. That's right. Is there a way that we can prove this? There is one way. We just need that evidence from Detective Gumshoe. Prosecutor Redgeworth, what are you talking about? Mr. Redgeworth, sorry for keep you waiting, sir. Here he is, Gummy. Hmm. Just the person I was talking about. Detective Gumshoe, I trust you have the test results. Of course, sir. I just got the report back from the lab. Detective, please be silent. So, this is the evidence that Prosecutor Redgeworth was talking about. Huh? Hey, what is this? This is the first I've heard of it. Um. This was a request from me. I asked him to investigate a certain piece of evidence. Why? Why is everyone always helping you out? I'm the one in charge of the crime scene. Mr. DePest, if you weren't such an idiot, people would maybe be inclined to help you. I apologize for taking matters into my own hands, but how about we hear this report first? Uh, sure. Detective Gumshoe, what were the results? Here's a report, sir. The traces of blood found in the Gemini sculpture belong to the victim of the poison gas, Dane Gustavia. What are you saying? Good work, Detective Gumshoe. As I thought, my theory was correct. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? We too would like we too would like an explanation. What on earth does this blood prove? Why would his blood be on the statue? Like this blood is something the culprit of the IS have an incident. <laughs> How you can heal? It can't be. That's... This blood was found inside the glass case of the Gemini sculpture. 
In other words, your blood was found alongside Mr. Dover's body. Why would Miss Gustavia's blood be in a place like that? If you intend to remain silent, then I'll reveal the truth myself. In the Gemini case, aside from the blood, we've also found traces of salt and sugar. Salt and blood. And only one of Mr. Dover's sherbet desserts tasted salty. Come to think of it, I remember Miss Delicious saying the same thing 18 years ago. Oh, yes, he. His sherbet was most delicious. Really? I wish I could have eaten some, too. There was one piece that was so salty I couldn't eat it. Salty? It's right here in this photo. It's part of that liar. That's the liar from the Gemini constellation. Exactly. For some reason, salt has been mixed into the, li to the liar. No other traces of salt were found in Dover's room. In that case, please explain. Where did the salt detected from the lie come from? The salt lamp? Almost certainly. This is the rock salt lamp uses the murder weapon in the I-7 incident. I believe part of this rock salt lamp was mixed in with the sherbet from the liar. At the time of the murder, there were two rock salt lamps in Mr. Master's room. One of those lamps took Mr. Dover's life. We know that Mr. Dover's blood was left behind on the murderous lamp, however. There are no traces of anyone's blood found at the crime scene, Mr. Master's room. Because the killer disposed of all the desserts with traces of blood into the stream of water, right? No other traces of salt were found in Mr. Dover's room. Speaking of which, weren't the two rock salt lamps found in Miss Delicious's room also broken? Looks like both lamps and the pillars are broken. Both the light bulbs are broken. Maybe they were dropped on the floor. Just, both of them are broken. I never did figure out why the other rock salt lamp was broken. Maybe Mr. Gustavia's blood was on the other lamp. If your blood was found in the lamp at the crime scene, you would have been suspected. As the culprit, you would have needed to conceal all traces of your blood from the police. Don't tell me you concealed it in the sherbet liar. Exactly. The rock salt lamp and his blood were mixed into the sherbet liar and hidden inside the glass case. So he melted it down? Okay. Unlike the fountain's water, the sherbet desserts would not be analyzed right away. It wouldn't have frozen. It wouldn't have frozen well, at least. Not much salt? Perhaps he had planned to dispose of the sherbet when the opportunity presented itself. Then, the reason Mr. Gustavia came to this gallery. 18 years ago, the body and the evidence pointing to the killer were both stolen. Even the killer could not have anticipated that. There was no way of knowing when the body and the evidence would be discovered. So, he planned to destroy the evidence before the Zodiac Gallery's grand opening. Dan Gustavia, isn't it about time you confessed? You are the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. Monsieur Gustavia, you're the reason Monsieur Master is... Oh, okay. Mr. Gustavia? Could it be? After all this time, my crime is finally brought to light. Prosecutors and defense attorneys 18 years ago never even came close. Bravo, bravo, well done, sir prosecutor. Yeah, the defense attorneys didn't come close because the prosecutor actively barred them from talking to you. So you admit you killed Mr. Dover. It is true, I killed Isaac Dover, but he had only himself to blame. Also past the statutory limit. What do you mean? Dover and I worked together in order to win the contest. No matter who won, we agreed that we'd share the angel's recipe. But on the day of the finals, he stabbed me in the back. I <laughs> know what we agreed to. I'm sorry, Gustavia. The deal is off. What? 
But I made your desserts for you. I'm the reason you got this far. And what of it? Can you prove that you assisted me in any way? Don't worry, you. You were planning to betray me all along. What an asshole. What an asshole. Because of Dover's treachery, I was forced to make my finals entry on my own. It's just as your prosecutor said. My son assisted me every day until the finals. What about your pride as a confectionery artist? A proud chef loses the ability to taste his own creations. That's a feeling an upstart like you would never understand. Mastering the art of dessert, making it my reason for being, was my one and only pride. Committing murder for the sake of pride, that's another feeling I'll never understand. To say nothing of abandoning your own son, such a thought disgusts me. Or you judge me, first understand what happened 18 years ago. On that day of the finals, my son never came to assist me. Thinking back on it now, I suppose Dover had a hand in that as well. Huh? What exactly happened to your son? I do not know, but it no longer matters. Ever since that day, my son meant nothing to me. From what I heard here, he's still missing. We literally just said that. That's awful! Giving up on him like that. Without your son, you had no chance of winning, correct? He did kill his son. I, like... I think he killed his son, but also I feel like that's too dark for an Ace Attorney game. Like, that feels like a step too far from where this game would go. Yes, and since I was guaranteed to lose, I needed a failsafe. During the afternoon tea time, I made my way to Mr. Master, Sir Master's room. She asked me to take a photo of the cure to my taste disorder. It would have all worked out. If only Dover hadn't interfered. Daddy trauma. Ah, Gustavia. Trying to steal a picture of my prize, are you? That hardly seems sporting. You. Cure for taste disorders. Oh-ho, you have a taste disorder, don't you? This is rich. A pastry chef who can't taste. Dover, you. Puny worm, you're in no position to oppose me. Oh my god. Okay, I hate this man. Maybe he does deserve to die, but they're both assholes. I don't know that he deserved to die, but they both suck. Attempted to hit Dover, he struck me and sent me flying. I crashed into one of the rock salt lamps. He was then that was when my blood stained on it. So it's just Dover wasn't the first one to be injured. To conceal my blood, I shaved away part of the rock salt lamp and mixed it into the sugar. Okay, I didn't do the whole thing. That makes more sense. After that, it became a part of the Lear sculpture. Liar, Lear. I say it differently every single time. So that's how you try to. That's how you tried to erase your crimes from the traces from the crime scene. I almost said your crimes from the crime scene. Dover tried to blackmail me by using his knowledge of my taste disorder. I didn't want it to become public. I was to pay him a large sum. So that's the reason why you killed Isaac Dover. Exactly. What reason do I have to let those who obstruct me live? He was the one who drew first blood. I simply gave him his just desserts. So that was his motive. I carried the rock salt lamp that bore my blood into Dover's room. Then I came up with a hiding place where it would not be easily found. I get it. That room contained plenty of tools for sculpting Sherbert. Your deduction is spot on, Sir Attorney. It was the ideal place to shape away the rock salt. I then proceeded to coat the surface of the Sherbert layer with vast amounts of the salty mixture. Which would have melted it, but okay. But why? Why did you try to pin the crime on Mr. Master? You are wrong to blame me for that, Lady Catherine. If not for your unnecessary meddling, Sir Master would have never been suspected. Why do you think I hid the murder weapon in fluorescent cloth in Lady Delicia's room? There's only one reason why you place a murder weapon in someone else's room. You wanted to pin the crime on Delicia. Me? Yes, that is correct. Gusty, why, why me? As the one who sought to be the world's best confectioner, I greatly respected Sir Master. 
It was never my intention to cast suspicion on him. But as an insolent woman who dares to lead the contest with fake desserts. Oh my god. I had no problem letting someone like you take the blame for the crime. That makes me sad. You wanted smacked on the other people. People's desserts. The body would have never been found. Smacked, not smacked. Bro, you cheated too exactly. It was when a Sir Master would be judging this Lady Delicia's room. That's when I finally saw an opportunity to freeze the body, but before I could move the body, Lady Catherine had already discovered it. Why did you need to freeze it? asked Monsieur Dover's body. Why indeed? Monsieur Edgeworth, please tell us. Why would Monsieur Gustavia have needed to freeze the body? She disguised it as an ice sculptor spill at the time of death to recreate a fake crime scene. I guess the type of death, because it would change, like, it would throw up suspicion of his movements. Mr. Gustavia intended to freeze the body in order to throw out the time of death. If the time of death had coincided with the tea party, Mr. Gustavia would have been suspected. That is correct. Preparations were necessary to freeze the body. While I was preparing in Dover's room, I placed the body in the treasure chest in Sir Master's room. I could think of no better hiding place at the time. But thanks to the gluttonous pharmacist, the lid of the chest broke. Why did you disguise him as an ice sculpture? Once the body was discovered, there would be no time to throw off the time of death. To buy time, you needed to hide it someplace else. How horrid. How could you hide Monsieur Dover's body within one of his own works? All would have worked out if the body hadn't been discovered while it was in Sir Master's room. And everything else had gone according to plan, Sir Master would never have been arrested. So, because I discovered the body, it's my fault, Monsieur Master was... Kate, don't take his words to heart. Even if suspicion hadn't fallen on Mr. Master, Miss Delicious would have taken the fall. No matter who he targeted, the one at fault here is Mr. Gustavia himself. The detective in charge of the initial investigation was also a dunce. Did think he never reported the missing body to the prosecutor. Prosecutor Von Karma indicated Mr. Master without knowing the body had vanished. I see. That would explain why he looked so flustered at the crime scene. Although, it's something that would stand out if you read the official documents. Could someone have intentionally disordered the information? Yes, obviously. At any rate, Von Karma found out about the missing body after he had made his ind indictment. Oh my god. And if he had let one person be acquitted, he'd have a stain on his much prided perfect record. That's why he concealed... Sorry, the fact that the body was hidden and had Mr. Master declared guilty. What are you saying? For 18 years, that man had taken the blame for your crimes. Don't you feel anything at all? I don't care what you say. What a monster. I'm arresting him right here, right now, sir. I can't. Sorry, but I'm afraid that will be impossible. So you figured it out. That's correct. You have no right to sentence me. What? But the culprit is standing right in front of us. Allow me to tell you the reason why you can't arrest me. Statute of limitations. It's been 18 years since I murdered Dover. The statute of limitations for murder in this country is 15 years, is it not? In other words, it's impossible for you to arrest me. I only confess my crime because the statute of limitations has expired. The statute of limitations for murder is 15 years. Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? As long as the statute of limitations remains, arresting him is impossible. No way. 
My sincerest apologies, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Neither Mr. Gustavi's testimony nor your logic can be taken as official le legal proof. Why are you, like, happy about this? A murderer is going to get away, lady. The verdict of the trial 18 years ago cannot be overturned. Well, an innocent person could be released from prison. What about the fact that Mr. Dover's body was hidden? Even if we can't arrest Mr. Gustavi, it should at least earn Mr. Master a retrial. Really? I wonder about that. Overturning a verdict of the goddess of law is much harder than you think. Is the PIC trying to justify the verdict from 18 years ago? Well, what the fuck is happening? How unfortunate, sir, prosecutor. Is there nothing I can do? Is there no way of continuing pursuing Mr. Gustavia? Every time. You can't arrest me. Why you can't arrest me? Kind of didn't matter why he would come back. That's a great question. It's possible that some of your actions 18 years ago were not affected by the statute. It's been so long, I've got nothing left to hide. Ask me anything you'd like. Very well. Could you explain to me what you did during the past 18 years? He left the country! <gasps> Oh my god, wait. He was in Zheng Fa. Which stops the timer. Right? If the suspect flees to a foreign country, the time limit is on hold until the suspect returns. And then... The, also, if a possible accomplices are on trial, the countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached. So that's another year. That's another year. Oh my god. Oh my god. After the contest, the medicine from the recipe book allowed me to fully cure my taste disorder. I then immediately headed to Zhang Fa to train my design skill. So he wasn't seen... So he wasn't seen ever since that case because he was in a foreign country. Indeed, and I'm certain that I went abroad to train about one year after that case, right before Sir Master's final trial began. And thanks to my training, now a confectioner unparalleled in both taste and design. You should not be proud of the position earned through the sacrifice of others. We're gonna get his ass. We're gonna get his ass can't bake a cake without breaking a few eggs. Sacrifices were necessary for my goal. That's horrible. Say what you will. The fact still remains that you cannot arrest me. Wrong. Wrong. Yes. Yes. Would you please add the details about your training in Zheng Fa to your testimony? Certainly. Bitch. Objection. One of the conditions regarding the statutes of limitations for murder is as follows. If the suspect flees to a foreign country, the time limit is on hold until the suspect returns. So, the statute of limitations was suspended while you were overseas. That's right! The statute of limitations stopped while you were training in Zheng Fa. Indeed, it is possible that the statute of limitations has not expired yet. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us how long you stay in Zheng Fa. Mm, it would be exactly three years. That'll do it. Wait, uh, let's calmly think this over. The case occurred 18 years ago. The statute of limitations is 15 years and he was away for three. 15 plus 3 is exactly 18 years. I'm sure of it. Mr. Edgeworth, we did it. The statute of limitations hasn't expired yet. I think that accomplice thing is going to help us. Exactly 18 years, you say? How amusing. So he realized. What are you laughing? The statute of limitations still applies. It was 18 and a half years. Okay, it's frustrating, but the case occurred in December. It's April now, which means 
Strictly speaking, the case occurred 18 years and four months ago. His stay abroad wasn't quite enough. We were just a few months short. Nope, we're gonna get another year off. Not enough? That, that's... Like I said, it's impossible for you to arrest me. Nope. He must have known all about this when he confessed to his crime. Nope. Prosecutor Regua, it really is a shame. If it was just one year earlier, the statute of limitations would not have run out. Nope. We still got it. Those who undermine the goddess of law's verdict must bear the burden of their crimes. Shut the fuck up, woman. I hate you. <laughs> Get on my nerves so much. You're so annoying. Seems you are simply incapable. Like, she has her moments, but she's just, like, doesn't give a shit about justice at all. She just is obstinate about everything. Even things that don't make sense. This can't be the end. It's not the end. So, Monsieur Gustave, it really is beyond the law's reach. No, it's not. What are you thinking? Objection. If you're thinking of taking matters into your own hands, I implore you to reconsider. There still might be a way to bring this man to justice. There is! What? Miles, remember the fact of the case 18 years ago? Just as you were mistaken earlier, it seems Mr. Gustavia has also overlooked one key detail. Yes. Yes, he did. Overlooked. He wasn't present during Mr. Master's final trial, so he doesn't know the outcome of the trial. There may yet be a way for you to arrest him. Miles, look over that book on statute of limitations again. I already did, don't worry, Ray. I, I got you, my man. 17 years ago, Master was falsely declared guilty for a serious crime. Thanks to that verdict. We aren't out of ammunition just yet. Yep, I know. Mr. Shields, you don't mean. Even though it's forged. Or faked, or something. Something's fishy with it, but like... Under the... D under... Those who undermine the goddess of law's verdict must bear the burden of their crimes. I'm a Mr. Master's attorney. I can't use this suffering as a weapon in good conscience. For that reason, I leave the rest up to you. The trial my father and Von Kammer battled over. Can I use that to arrest Mr. Gustavia? What should I do? Should I raise an objection? Yes! Father and Von Karma, their paths diverged. One revealed the truth, the other concealed it. The path I chose is the one that reveals the truth I choose. I see no further reason to prolong this trial. Shut the fuck up, Courtney. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What is that from? What am I referencing right now? Try to find Dane Gustavia not guilty. Objection. Overruled. Gustavia will stand in court for his crimes. Do you mean to say you have found a way to arrest Mr. Gustavia? It's probably. Shut the fuck up, Kyle. Shut the fuck up. It's no, I don't think it's game rums. It's like it's TikTok or something. Yes, that will shatter the statute of limitations. Take that. No, it's not that. It's it's not what the fuck is up, Kyle. Nope. No, it's not that. Oh, oh, it's gonna come to me later. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Which page am I referring to? That's a great question. Suspect data.
the suspect data page. At the trial, Jeffrey Masters was found guilty of being an accomplice to murder. It took one year to arrive at this verdict. Right, that is indeed true. This book lists conditions in which the statute of limitations can be put on hold. The first, as I have said earlier, is if the suspect flees to a foreign country. But there's one more. If possible, accomplices are on trial. The countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached. What are you saying? Sir Master was found to be an accomplice? That's right. Mr. Master was sentenced after you left your trip to Jingfa. And he found he was found guilty of being not the culprit, but of being an accomplice. Fuck that up. But it seems you didn't know. That's absurd. Shut the fuck up. I, it's stuck in my head still. <laughs> Mr. Master never committed to any crime to begin with. You are never committed any crime to begin with. You should certainly know this. Of course we do. That's why we're going to free him. To that end, we will shatter the one remaining obstacle in our way. The Statute of Limitations. You fled to Shangfa three years, in th for three years, and Jeffrey Master was being tried as an accomplice for one year. Put it all together, we see that the total time limit for this case is 19 years. In other words, the statute of limitations is not over for you yet. Please let this be the end. I'm begging you. Absolutely crying on my hands and knees begging. Goddess of Law is unerring in her judgments. However, it seems the prosecutor at the time was not. I cannot believe it, but it seems the case will have to be reopened. This is absurd. You cannot arrest me. Objection. Yes, I can, because you just confessed to fucking everything. For the last 18 years, an innocent man has suffered greatly in your stead. Mr. Gustavia, it's now time for you to atone for your crimes. I finally earned my place as the greatest confectionery in the world. To achieve that goal, I cast everything aside, even my own son. What a shame. You can't run from your crimes any longer. I love, I love Edris. What a shame. Alright, go ahead and explode like everybody does. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh! Oh? Okay. Mmm. Ted. Maybe it's shut the fuck up, Ted. Shut the fuck up, Ted. Oh, that's what it is. Oh my god. It just came to me. It's fucking Griffin McElroy. He's talking about something from like two years ago, and he's like, he's like, AOC, oh, it was when GameStop, the whole thing with GameStop is going out. Oh, he's talking about, like, AOC is like, that's illegal. We're going to prosecute it. And apparently Ted Cruz was like, yeah, go AOC. And then he goes as AOC, shut the fuck up, Ted. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. I got to find that, like, actual clip. I think Gustavi has been taken into custody. Taint Gustavi has been taken up into custody, so. Oh my god. Find, I'll find it later. Uh, yeah, so you're up next, right? Yes, I understand. Kate. Everyone, I'm truly sorry for all the trouble I've caused. And thank you very much for catching Monsieur Gustavia. 
What you did cannot be overlooked, even if the crimes you committed were in response to a past injustice. As a prosecutor, I am terribly sorry for what happened. No, I'm only getting what I deserve, since I was the cause of all this. Kate, will you have me as your attorney? I'm not quite the same useless kid I was 18 years ago. I won't let them find you guilty. Oh, oh, Monsieur Shields. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, I love them. Maybe I found it. Sorry to interrupt, but it's time to go. Yes, all right. Judge Courtney, I can't help but feel that you've been dishonest with me. The music is very good. Dishonest? Whatever do you mean? I hate her. You said the verdict could not be overturned, but that was not the case. A reinvestigation and retrial were obviously required as soon as the missing body was found. I have no need to answer you. It seems she doesn't intend to ever give me an answer. What is her problem? What is this woman's problem? Prosecutor Wedgworth, the PIC has you in its sights. Why? What has he ever done wrong? I mean, recently. <laughs> what has he done wrong recently? Nothing. They will receive a report on everything you did here today. And you will most likely be required to appear before them. Now then, I shall take my leave. Hold up! Mr. Edgeworth caught the real bad guy! Did he do his job as a prosecutor? No matter how things turn out, I will never regret what I did here today. Mr. Edgeworth... Hey, Prosecutor Edgeworth! What is it? Why are you always sticking your nose into cases that you're not even involved with? My duty is to reveal the truth. <coughs> I can understand a little bit DeBest's frustration here. Actually, I, I can understand DeBest's frustration in this situation. Like, this was his case. Edgeworth wasn't even involved, like, at all before um, Ray, like, brought him in. Like, this should have just been DeBest's case. That being said, DeBest is a fucking idiot and would have completely fucked it up, obviously. Um, and we wouldn't have had the 10 out of 10 result we have here today. I'm not only, not only as a prosecutor, it's just who I am. I don't get it. As long as you continue to think that being the best is all that matters, I doubt you ever will. Well, I don't get that either. I'm going home. Bye. What was that all about? There's still much she needs to learn. Hold on. Just one, just one really quick. No, I was going to say, maybe DeBest is the missing child, but I don't think so. If anything, like he shares the hair color with him, but I think he would have been more affected if his father was dead and he learned it in this case. <laughs> but I, yeah, I don't think it's actually true. Miley! What is it? I knew Greggy's son could do it. I think I might be falling for you. Thanks for helping, Jeffy. Well, um... What if Kay was his son? And she transitioned! <laughs> and it really was a gay couple. <laughs> Yo, Edgy. Great job solving that case. <coughs> I was... I don't know if you were here for this, but it, when they first brought out that picture, I was like... Are Gustava and and whatever the fuck his name is, were they married? It's a family photo. Is it two dads and two sons? 
But it wasn't that, obviously. Um, I was busy drawing, so I didn't really catch all of it. Huh? Where did Kate and Justy run off to? Larise, you really weren't paying attention much at all, were you? Well, I hate to admit it, but Larry's doodles actually helped me helped us out a few times. Yeah, Dover seemed like an asshole in a lot of ways. Should just say something nice to him. Don't glare at me like that. I'm sorry. It was not my intent to glare at you. That patented Edward glare. You're just like your old man. Uh, is that so? He's so uncomfortable. It's so sweet. Every time, every time he's Ray says something like that, Edward's like, oh, oh, really? I'm like my dad? Well then, Uncle Ray's gonna go pay Mr. Master a visit. You guys wanna tag along? I'd be happy to accompany you. Oh, me too! I was hoping we were gonna get this scene. April 2nd, 2.56 p.m. Very specific. So this Jeffy, Jeffrey Masters, what's he like? Oh, he's a real nice and gentle guy. He's still doing his best to make people happy. He actually cooks dessert for the inmates. Guess we totally fell asleep on accident. That's okay, Cody. You, def you needed the sleep then. Nowadays, all the prisoners and guards look forward to snack time at 3 o'clock. Wow, that's nice. I want to eat these desserts too. So the chocolate cake we saw at the prison the other day. He was the one who made it. There he is. His, the white hair is so wild. Why are you here? I had heard everyone was coming to visit, so I escorted Mr. Master myself. Hello, one and all. I am Jeffrey Master. Prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth, at your service. And I am Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. Oh, it is a pleasure to meet you all. Mr. Master, Miles is your old defense attorney's son. You mean Mr. Gregory's? Your father has done so much for me. And yet, I betrayed his good faith when I made the false confession. I heard the details from Mr. Shields. Mr. Master, I came here today to tell you everything we learned about 18 years ago. 18 years ago? Kate committed a crime for my sake. Why would she do such a thing? Miss Hall has been trying to prove your innocence for the past 18 years. She was willing to do whatever it took to save you. Kate, she shouldn't have gone through so much trouble for an old man who let her down. Mr. Master, I don't think you realize just how much Miss Hall cares for you. I have something here that clearly proves the two of you share an unbreakable bond. An unbreakable bond. Proof of the bond between the two of them. This should give Mr. Master some peace of mind. Um. The chocolate! Oh, the chocolates. These chocolates. Did Kate make them? She did. They're really sweet and tasty. She's been making these chocolates for the past 18 years so that she could give them to you whenever you returned. Kate. I'm sure they're very, very sweet. Yes, they truly are. Unfortunately, I cannot give them to you now, but I can hand them over later in secret, pal. It is against the rules, but right now I don't have the authority to stop him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Say, you remind me of an old friend. Do you know Detective Bad? Of course I do. Detective Bad is my number one role model, pal. How uncanny. Talk about fate. Mr. Master, it's looking like we'll be able to get you out soon. I can only apologize that it took 18 years to do so. Raymond, I'm the one who should be apologizing. No, that's not it. What I really should be saying is, thank you. 
I'm like, it's so sweet. Getting a little teary eyed. Now it's my turn to wait for Kate. I'll make her favorite sweets every day until she returns. Please look after her, Raymond. You got it. It's so sweet. The IS-7 incident, a case I inherited from my father. After 18 long years, it's finally coming to a close. <coughs> Miles, thanks for today. I am sorry for leaving that final decision to you. No, I made that decision of my own free will. Eh? Huh? What are you talking about? To arrest Gustavia, we had no choice but to use Mr. Master's false charge. Yeah. To use Mr. Master's false charge, which I was originally supposed to protect him from. The attorney inside me simply could not do it. So that's how it was. But... After this, Uncle Ray is going to try and clear away that false charge as well. Yes, I understand. What? But if they find out about the false charge, they won't be able to arrest Mr. Gustavia, right? That's true. It sure is a contradiction in the law. The way the law is right now, it isn't always completely right. Contradiction in the law. Well... Who knows what'll happen? The law evolves and grows, just like all of us do. Just like Uncle Ray and Miles have grown up, you know? People and the law both grow. Miles. To fight crime as a prosecutor, or to save people as a defense attorney, I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. I will. Well, if you ask Uncle Ray, They'll always be welcome down at the office. Alrighty then, looks like it's time for Uncle Ray to get going. I love his walk cycle. Next time I see you, I'll be sure to thank you again. Oh, and he tilts the hat like, like Gregory does. Really though, thanks for today. I'm sure he'll be back in the next case. <laughs> Mr. Shield seems to be in a bit of a hurry. Indeed. <coughs> <coughs> I should be the one thanking him. I was able to face my father's last case because of him. When I was young, I wanted to become a great defense attorney like my father. However, under Prosecutor Von Karma, I learned the ways of a prosecutor. Thanks to a certain friend, I was able to discover my own path in life. A certain friend. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. However, right now there are forces trying to take me off the prosecutor's path. Maybe now is the perfect time to think about how I should live my life. Married to Phoenix. Oh my god. Come on. Edgeworth Law Offices. Oh, it's Ray. Gregory. I'm sorry that it took so long. It may have taken 18 years. But finally, we've proven Mr. Master's innocence. Miles, your son, helped me with that. The way he fought for the truth. He was just like you, Gregory. Still not the kind of attorney you were, but I will forever carry on the convictions I inherited from you. And if I can, oh no, it is Edgeworth's hat. I didn't notice that. It, it is his hat. <laughs> Together with him. fight crime as a prosecutor or to save people as a defense attorney. The path I cho choose is... <laughs> I love these stupid games. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god. Thank god this episode's over though. 
took so long. <coughs> oh my god. Okay. Go away, Norton VPN. Thank you so much. I'm Norton Virus. Whatever it is. Oh my god, that took forever. But hold on. I gotta I gotta see if this is the right this yeah. whole saga so far has been that the trading apps have shut down GameStop trading, which is, you know, illegal. And AOC was out there like, this is illegal and we are going to fuck you up. And then <laughs> Ted Cruz, famous piss pants pisser, comes in and is like, that's right, AOC, get him. And then AOC was like, shut the fuck up, Ted Cruz. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Ted. You're ruining it for it. everybody. You don't get to be on this side of it. You get to be on the wrong side forever, Ted. You fucking dipshit. <laughs> I love Griffin McElroy. Anyway, that's what was stuck in my head, was him going, Shut the fuck up, Ted Cruz. Shut the fuck up, Ted. Anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. <coughs> I'm going to go get a real night's sleep. Do, does every bone in my body just want to go downstairs and play more um, Tears of the Kingdom? Absolutely. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to actually go to bed like a responsible adult. <coughs> so, anyway, thank you all for hanging out tonight as we finished up this case. That was fun. It was very good. Got me fucking choking up. There's, let's see, how much is left? Nope, that's not it. I have too many tabs open on my phone. I think there's three more fucking cases. Because, of course. Go to bed and ta play it in bed. I'd have to go get it out of my stand. There's two more cases. The Forgotten Turnabout and the Grand Turnabout. Um, <clears throat> I have to go get it from the basement. We'll see if I f feel like going all the way down there. I have to go down and deposit my the rest of my cheese it somewhere. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. You're the best. I love you very much. I love this fucking game series. As much as I bitch about it, it's so good. Next week, more of the same, baby. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for hanging out. I very much appreciate it. You guys are the best. I love you. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your Friday night and a fabulous weekend. And I will see you guys all next week. Okay? Goodbye!